So you're telling me this is how the girls turn up? Hmm. Then I'ma stick with the girls. Uh, you better talk nice to me. I'm in your head. I invest. That's a short term fee. Got it locked. I'm the best. Well, at least that's what I think. Guys, welcome back to the Girl Social. We are here with our beautiful, great friend, Heidi Summers. You guys might know her as Buff Bunny, but we know her as Heidi, and she's just the fun time. Um, Heidi was the one that said, let's take a shot, because if you know Heidi, she's a shot girl. I love a good- Well, we were all nervous. And we were all nervous. She's like, let's just take a shot. This is our first guest. So thank you for coming. Yes, thank you so much. I'm excited. I've been listening to all these these podcasts. Cheers. Christian actually has listened to quite a few too. That's hilarious. Because I play them on speaker while I'm getting ready. Okay, ready? Now we're gonna be like eh. nothing, <laughs> nothing like warm liquor, just a really mm. warm tequila. Warm tequila to get your day going. Ugh, that was a rough one. Okay, guys, uh, I know we need to explain. We have not been filming for the past two weeks. Two weeks. Um, I feel bad. I'm sorry. You guys deserve an explanation. Yeah, I feel horrible. Um, we didn't abandon you. We didn't abandon you. Max was getting surgery on his hernia, so I went into doctor mom mode. And then the week after that was Easter and it was just a lot for us. And we decided we'll just come back with a banger and that banger is Heidi. Absolutely. Am I making up for that? (laughs) (laughs) That's a lot of pressure. Those are big shoes to fill. No, No. well, we wanted you on anyways. I wanted to film with you. We wanted to film with you even before your wedding, before you became Heidi Guzman. I know. And then you were gone. Then you were gone. And so it was like, okay, well, I was like, also, I do not want to stress this woman out before her wedding. So I, I want to, yeah, you were so calm. We will talk about too, bridal but, dreams. Yeah, we will talk about that too, because I don't know what she was on, but I was nervous for her wedding. And she, she was like, eh. she was she's so like, nervous. And I was like, chill. And I was like, does anyone want a Red Bull or anything? She's Not like, once. She's like, do you want a mimosa? Do you want a snack? And I'm, I'm like walking into her get, re- <laughs> like her get ready room to get my makeup done. And like with Suzette. And she's like, do you want a snack? Do you want anything? Can I get you anything? And I was like, no, this is your day. Like, stop it. <laughs> it's like the mean girl's mom. <laughs> yeah. Can I get you guys anything? Oh my God, that is me. That is a person. You. No, that's a person. you. But I feel like like that's how you always are. Yeah. Like you're always like the, you're chill. you're making people drinks. You're bringing people shots. Oh yeah. <laughs> I'm known as the shot girl now. It's you pretty, are. I'm doing that at your wedding. I know. Everyone. Yeah. Asked, everyone already asked me. They're like, "Is Heidi gonna give out shots?" And I was like, "You know what? I jokingly said you're gonna give out shots going down the aisle. I don't know if I'm gonna do that. I thought about it. I mean, it would be <laughs> fun. A horrible idea. I do want to give people drinks like as they walk in, but mm-hmm. obviously y'all are my bridesmaids. We need to talk about Wait, the we did that in unison. <laughs> we oh, are girls. <laughs> um, but I think because obviously y'all are walking down the aisle, y'all won't be able to have a drink, but um, maybe we'll have them at your seats. So whenever y'all sit down, you can just have a drink. We're taking shots down uh, the aisle. Down the aisle. Or instead of holding, I thought of, I was like, instead of a bouquet, a you hold it. Shooters. Shooters. And you just throw them out to people as you walk down the aisle. That's that's what I was going to say. You were going to be a shock girl instead of a flower girl. <gasps> Because Heidi really wanted to be Didn't my flower you, I, girl. I was going to say. I know. I was like, just have me be the flower girl. I'll just throw out shots. I'm my the flower girl. My niece would girl, literally girl. fight her. My niece I'll take be, her down. She's How old huge. Is she? She's about to be eight, but she's bigger than you. Damn. She'll I'm take scared me down. for the bachelorette trip. <gasps> I'm excited. I know nothing. I talked to Mona a little bit about it, and she's like, what do you know? I was like, nothing. And she's like, I oh, I can't tell you. Person. And I was like, I was like, my lips are sealed. I do know Heidi asked about doing hibachi. Yes. I sent her a reel. I was like, can we do this? And she's like, yeah. And I was like, I don't know if anyone would be down. Are you down? I would do it. I would literally pee my pants. I would sit there and pee my pants. I mean, do you guys remember when you had the hibachi? Yeah, and almost lit my my Christmas tree on fire. And I threw the egg. Yeah, it went behind you. (laughs) (laughs) I didn't even like... (laughs) <laughs> it's that was fine. fun. It was that a good was so time. Fun. I mean, honestly, like if we don't do it for the bachelorette, me and Heidi agreed that we'll do it for Friendsgiving this year instead of yeah. hiring somebody and me spending an extra four hundred dollars. We're on a budget because people didn't pay. No, people paid, but the guy was like, "Oh no, like it's more than that." And I was like, "But my receipt says this," and he's like, "No," and so I had to pay an extra four hundred dollars <gasps> like that night because like you should have told us we would have chipped yeah. in. No, I didn't care. I was like, I was like. You're getting a bad review. We're done. Cause like one star. I'll make it up. I'll do it for free this year. Yeah. Oh my god. It may not be as good, but <laughs> no, it's gonna be great. It won't be anywhere near as good, but it'll be fun to watch. I mean, we could we could just order PF Chang's on the side or like Chinese food on the side. Definitely. And That's then pretend. A good and idea. just pretend, but then like let Heidi do her thing. 
Because I just know, I know it's going to be a good time. I can make bread. I just don't know about hibachi. It like, looks really complicated. No, it's like it's like grilling. But like but you, a little onion tower. And I've then seen they put you, smoke come out. Oh, with oil, right? It's oil. I could figure it out. Yeah, I've seen. We can, we can watch. It out. Yeah, we'll I've watch. seen. I've seen. We'll just go to hibachi every week and take notes. <laughs> Wait, I do know the dad jokes. I'm good at that. I know they do the dad jokes, and, and I always ruin shrimp. it for them. Yeah, Christian hates it. Like they'll just start, and I'm like, we'll get ah, you to the little chicken. Like, you know it, don't you? Like, yeah, I need you to do the choo choo. Which one's the choo? -choo? They do the train. The train. It's, it's the onions and then um, the zucchini, and they like push it around, and it's like blowing out, and they're like. Have a, like a thing that makes the, the horn. I'm gonna create a shared PDF for me to follow all the things Don't to worry. do the most epic. We're gonna kill it. We're going to hibachi tonight. <laughs> that's what we're gonna do yeah. for dinner. Wait, that's not a bad idea. I haven't been to like neither have I. Benihana's in so long. Was it a thing here like before homecoming or prom? Like you went. Yes. And it then was like a birthday thing. I remember one year for prom we did that, and my dress just reeked of hibachi. <gasps> yeah. Mm. Yeah, that yummy. means you. That means you just smelled like a snack. Yeah, <laughs> she's like you were a bad thing. She's like, like you were a whole meal. Yeah, <laughs> you were you weren't a snack. You were a whole meal. Smelling like fried rice. Why? Oh, not a dude sticker sticking into my leg. <laughs> I'm sorry. He's you can't control him. Dude gets like because he so has long hair. I'm shocked. Oh, he has the stickers, right? Yeah, the stickers. They get everywhere. Like I like will lay in the bean bag and there will be like 20 stickers in there. I'm like because I know dude's been rolling around in it. Wow, it's painful. I don't let Nala out. Don't I let her Nala is like else. a princess. She won't. She doesn't like to get dirty. She doesn't like. She's like, I don't want to be around. outside. She doesn't roll around the grass. It's weird. I'm like, go have fun, go play. She's like, I'm okay. She's like, no, thank you. Is she yeah. weird about getting her paws wet? Does oh, she doesn't like her paws being touched. She doesn't like mm -hmm. them wet. She doesn't like them dirty. She doesn't like mud. She doesn't like anybody. I'm like she doesn't like anybody. Myself. She's just like, I'm just gonna live my life. She has like her like select group of people. She likes me, but I think it's because yeah, she knows she that does. I'm I'm dude's mom. That's her, yeah, boyfriend. That's her boyfriend's mom. Aww. She's like, you're my mother-in-law. Yeah. I'm gonna pretend to like you. She's like, I'm gonna <laughs> have to like you so I can see my boyfriend. Cause her and dude are, yeah. she's known dude. Since he was a puppy. Since he was a baby. Did Max live with you guys or just next door? Technically. <laughs> oh, okay. So Max, Max would always come visit and stay for long periods of time. Like he'd be like, I'm gonna come for two weeks. And he's there for like three months. Like, she just move here. Then he moved in right next door. Okay, I Right next that. door with Joe. Because the first time, like when I brought Ryan here because he wanted to move to LA and I was like, no. And we came here and stayed at the, I don't want to like give out locations, but we stayed at the hotel across the street. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And we were walking around the like lake and Max was That's walking That's when y'all met. Yeah, Max was walking dude and he was a little puppy. And Ryan immediately was like, yo, what's up dude? And I just like went for dude. I was like, I'm <gasps> awkward. I don't know what to do. <laughs> You're like, I just want the dog. Yeah, I was like, I don't know what to do. <laughs> I, I feel like something comes over us, right? We're like, I, I need to pet that dog. Yeah. <laughs> like, Heidi was walks me when in I walked goes, in. Heidi goes, can I pet that dog? And I, I didn't was know like, whose dogs they were, but I was like, I want to pet those dogs. And, Bo's, and I was like, David Bo's and Julia's frantic. dogs. Bo's frantic. And Bo, Bo is like sweet, but he's like an old man. Like he's like yeah. Nala's age. He's got to just warm up. You got to warm up Yeah, but he's just very like anxious and like mm -hmm. doesn't like know how to like, he's also very alpha. Like he he's maybe the smallest dog in the world, but he feels like he's like the biggest dog. He's, he's like, like a little, little man alpha syndrome. Grandpa. Yeah, he like went after uh, Joe's dog Senna one day and I was like, this is the, you're barking up the wrong oh, no. tree, Bo. Don't go after that one. Yeah, we, we were both like, um, and this is the last time those those two dogs are ever gonna be able to be in the same room together. It was bad. Cause Senna's a little sassy too, Senna's right? Senna's so sassy, but it was like when Senna was also younger. Like it was last, it was like a couple years ago. Yeah. Oh, so she wasn't like her size now. She, no, she was still big, but like she hadn't been trained as well as she is now. Oh God, it's like bear. And I was like, I was, we were in the middle of the park and I just see Senna and Bo like, and I was like, <laughs> I was like, cause Bo's aggressive. Like he'll go after like, and like, proof of his strength but he doesn't realize like I think because he sees Rolo and dude and he thinks he's the same size yeah and he's n he's nowhere near the same size as them like, at all perhaps not he's, he's got little man syndrome yeah he's but he's so sweet he is he's a cuddler he loves to snuggle I love a good snuggle but okay guys we hopped into this real quick but let's get to highs and lows I love this. Heidi, we should start with Heidi. Heidi we do highs and lows you know how it rolls oh, here wait, I have to go first yeah yeah you're our guest no pressure. <laughs> I know. I'm Highs like, and lows. You've got some really good week, ones. Right? Of the week. You've got some really good ones. Are you talking about my low? Are you talking about my back? Yeah, that was funny. Oh my God. <laughs> Guys, okay. I don't know if you guys saw Heidi's. 
I embarrassing. Almost peed my pants this morning reading Heidi's story. <sighs> and like, cause like I would have felt the same way. Like I would have like, if I have like a rash or something's wrong, I'm like, I'm dying. Like this is it. Yeah. Oh, I got like, a headache. Yeah, I mean, this is how I go. <laughs> yeah, it's like you start Googling things and you get super panic mode, but okay, so Lowe's, um, I got a rash on my back. And I, I literally was like, what is this? And it was there for a week. And I started Googling rashes and I was like, oh my God, it's a flesh eating bacteria. I have like one week to live. And I was like <laughs> freaking out. And then the other rashes that were on there, I'm like, I mean, they sort of look like that. So I panic, I go to the doctor and I was like, what is going on? I was like, and then I feel like it's getting into my nose. Like I can't feel my armpit over here. And so he was like, it's a mosquito bite. <laughs> You're like, oh, how did you take that? I was like, what do you mean it's a mosquito bite? He goes, it's a, like, does it, does it blister? Uh, so what happened is like, so I'm allergic to mosquito bites. So if I have a mosquito no, bite, I, I get a same. hive. But yeah. it was a cluster of them, I guess. <gasps> like a, an army of mosquitoes came. Where were you? At my house. Were you outside? Mm. They've been Probably, really, yeah. they've been, they've really, been bad. They've been really bad. Like even yeah. when we walk, dude, like I will wear, it's like 90 degrees. I'm wearing a full on tracksuit because they're so bad. Yeah. Yeah. But like mine blister up when I get like mosquito bites. N yeah. Some of them on my legs have that right now. I think that's what he saw. He, he was like, oh, you mosquito bites? I'm like, yeah. But he was like, you got a collection of them in one area. And that's what caused like the, this, the, the that reaction? one part of the you. rash. They just really wanted that one part. She, they just wanted that <laughs> one little section. This and is what I, I say is it's because you're so sweet. That's why they like they you. They love me. Yeah. I was that's like, why I'm you're like, so sweet. I must be extra sweet because they love me. Yeah. Well, but there's one that? area on my back they really like. There's that thing from Shark Tank. Um, oh, the, the, the thing. Suck it. Yeah. Does it work? I've never used it, but we always talk about getting it. What is them. it? It's this thing that was on Shark Tank. It's called a suck it, and you put it against your skin and like pull. And it sucks the venom out of your mosquito bites. And so, bites. like, the mosquito bite goes away. Oh, I'm definitely gonna buy that. No, I yeah. think it has like five star it's reviews. But it's all supposed way to be like it's like one of the top selling uh, like items from Shark Tank. What? We need to get like, you some revolutionary. I need that on my back. <laughs> <laughs> no, I literally like saw your back and I was like, oh, that like because it doesn't it doesn't look like a mosquito bite. Like it's not like the no, small little. It's bow. like this big. It was like, it's like a, my fist, but it like was a huge red mark around your back. And it was all like raised. Yeah, and it was like it was like it looked like it had like was like expanding. And I was like, oh, like I yeah. was like fully like, oh, she must be really allergic to something. Like something's wrong. Yeah. No, that's eating. crazy. Thank God it's not flesh eating though. I was yeah. like, damn. I was like at a photo shoot and I was like, if it's flesh eating, I got a week to live. I was like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be taking my funeral pics right I now. Your head some headshots. Yeah. I was like, I was like, use these. Okay, but for real, like, let me put some. Nothing's gonna on. happen. But if it does, can you please pick the pic? Yeah, because you know, knowing me well. Christian, I've seen some. I'm seeing some photos. He's, he's you know what he's I'm gonna like, choose? He's gonna choose your photos from the Caymans when you had the sunburn. <gasps> and you're wrong. He was. He would do he that would too. Do that. He would do that. He would too. do that. All right, Taylor's gonna pick, pick my pick. Wait, is Matt or I'm losing it? Christian is just like Ryan then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like he, this one looks. He's good. like, like you look so cute, and I'm like, that's literally the worst like, picture I've ever like seen in my like, life. Yeah, pictures, and he calls Sid Pig, and yeah. like in a nice way, like in a cute way. It's a cute way. I we talked about this. Yeah. I was like, I like that. But he like point fives her and like comes right to her face and like <gasps> will take photos. Like yeah. I love those, but. Christian would put that on my funeral pic. I'm like, don't do that. I'm like, that's not the picture. I'm gonna make sure that your makeup- Maybe on the back. I'm gonna back be like, Suzette has to do your beat. Yes. If we're doing open casket. <laughs> yes, I'm gonna make I sure want full beat. You need a spray tan. Extensions have to be- Spray tan. Extensions oh, have Eric to comes be into fluffed. town. <laughs> Eric comes to do extensions. Can you get Can you get a self tan? Yeah. Spray tan if you're dead. We'll just, yeah, we'll spray you. We'll get it done. Yeah. I, I always if say not, that. If not, I'll spray it for you. I I'm need like, a spray. She, like, yeah, she has like, to be tan. She for needs it. to be tan. I don't want to be like ghostly. No, because you're all, you're going to haunt all of our asses. What? Oh, I will. I'm going to come back and be like, mm, Taylor, I did not like that pic that you picked. <laughs> <laughs> you bitch. <laughs> you're going to, oh, you God, and Mikey. That spray tan was too pale. You're going to be telling Mikey, Mikey, tell Taylor she sucked at yeah. the kids in a picture. <laughs> Next time Mikey goes ghost hunting, I'm just going to like go on the radio and be like, take Taylor, I'm coming for her. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. <laughs> All jokes aside, guys, Heidi is not dying. I'm not going to die. But if Shit. I do, you're I not would going like anywhere soon. matte black and shiny black flowers. Perfect. Okay. I'll figure that out. Me and Hannah will plan you the, the sickest. Funeral. I know. Me and him were joking back to back, and I was like, "But make sure I'm in like a red gown." Like tell if, Christian, if you marry someone else, I'm haunting her. I, no, yep. you, you know what I'm going to put you in? I'm going to put you in that sick rhinestone gown that you Which wore one? for the holiday party. <gasps> yes, 
Yeah, see, that's iconic. Yeah. That is iconic. You know what Christian would put me in? Amplify. He'd put me in Amplify. <laughs> Don't don't she's, let him pick my she, outfit. She's gonna go the right way. He's gonna oh be like, God. she's gonna go out with her booty looking good. Yeah, I'm like, you don't even see fire. my butt. I'm head up like this. <laughs> he puts you in face down. <gasps> he shout out to... Amplify. <laughs> I'm gonna cry. Why did we take that shot? It's <laughs> so bad. Guys, we call this dark humor. I love no, it. No, this is my sense of humor. <laughs> Guys. Heidi's not dying, I promise. I I'm swear. not going to die, guys. She's not going to die anytime soon. But if I go, like, same for y'all. Y'all are forced to plan the sickest. I want everyone to take a shot at my funeral. Oh, hell yeah. I want it to be like I'll a be roast. There. A roast? Mm -hmm. See, I couldn't handle that because. I don't know if I could do a roast. Yeah, some. I want it. I really want it for my birthday. <gasps> Someone we could would just roast like, you and I would funny get defensive. Stories. Like, yeah. maybe let's not roast me at my, my bachelorette, but like. At a birthday, maybe my 30th birthday, I really want to do a roast. Wait, that would be funny, like a rap roast, right? So they did like the yeah. freestyling rap and whatnot. Not like, <laughs> or like the office, like boom, roasted. God. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about, right? Yes. What? When they do it in the office, they kind do a of. roast. Have y'all ever seen a roast before? I've seen the office. Like like it's like an actual comedian. I've seen like a roast. rap one where they like rap battle. I mean and they go off. No, we're not rapping. You can if you want to. I could freestyle a little bit. I I bet you could. But like no The one dance you did. We like <laughs> Yes. Her her um lip sync battle. My lip sync. It was actually battle. really good. <laughs> I wanna do that here in Houston. No, I think with our we friend. could. Are you guys down? I would do it. I told okay. you 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 know what song I wanna do. Wait, hold on. <gasps> we talked about it. Sorry, the old Taylor yeah. can't the okay. song right now. I was like, should we? I was like, should we edit that out so no one knows? Nah, no, nah, it's okay. I don't care. Yes. Yeah, we need to do it. And like, like our guys, we we talked about doing a lot of things with our guys, like getting them into Pilates, getting them into yoga. Like, okay, but we gotta make it happen. Yeah. But like, if we do the karaoke thing, I have a whole. They're like ready to go. They've been asking me. I was like, we just gotta plan the date, and then everyone starts getting together. I'm, I think like we have to have like separate groups. Like there has to be like multiple. Oh groups. yeah, no, there'll be multiple. Put me on that list. That's all I'm yeah. saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it'll be iconic. Yeah, and I want like a grand prize. What are we gonna? Do? We have to think of something really cool. I want a belt made. Someone they get the, the team gets a belt like, like a, a like a I love belt. That. You know, like the boxing match belts. Yeah, but it's like a, a golden microphone on yeah. the belt. I'll make but it. But you're gonna win money. We will do get that. donations. <laughs> yeah, we'll donate. We'll get donations. Who are we donating? <laughs> <laughs> Who's donating? It's all of us that are competing. We all yeah. put in $10. Yeah. You must compete. But to hey, if there's a bunch of people that come, not like a bunch of people, but it'd be like our friends. Yeah. I'm. So it's when like, are we doing in. this? She's so like, let me in. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm, I'm down. So you should be a week. competitive cheerleader. So she's like, let me <gasps> perform. And she's a singer. She can sing really well and play the guitar. I know she's talented. What? I okay, know. so we're all going to be in the same group, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah. Nice. Yeah. What if we had all the girls and then all the guys and then we could have like the grounds team and then buff money? We we could like the grounds team fun. has they gotta loosen up their hips. Yeah. They did they did good great they performance. Did, they though, did right? great, but the guys they need went. to loosen up. They James, gotta loosen up the hips. James and yeah. Esteban need to loosen up those hips yeah. a little bit. They're a little Wait, what are we talking about? If you watch back the video of the It was like karaoke. The oh. our, like the girl the grounds girls did one and then the st uh, the Studio ninety three group did one. Like the grounds guys. And like they did, they did really. I mean, they like tore off their clothes and they were wearing buff bunny clothes, started twerking. It was good. They just got to loosen up the hips. They got to loosen bit. up the hips, and then yeah. they might beat us. But they might mm, never I questionable. Don't know. I don't know if I want to see Esteban in some leggings. <laughs> <laughs> His legs might be better than mine. Uh, he's so funny. But you know who would do really well at it, and I know who would do well at it. Who Max? Oh, he would crush it. Max, Wait, he's, he's on our team, so right? Serious. Yeah. yeah, he'd have or to be on our. No, we have like Christian and Max and the guys, all of them. I'm gonna say right now, Ryan has no rhythm. Sorry, babe. <laughs> oh, but that'd be even funnier because but, Christian doesn't either. But Max, like, so Max can train Max, Ryan. And yeah, but Max Christian. is like, like when he's in character, like how we talked. Okay, if you guys haven't seen it yet, Heidi was talking to us earlier about the Heidi video that Max did, and then Ma Heidi did Max's video, like acting as Max. This. When Max gets into character, he doesn't break. He doesn't break. I broke a few times. <laughs> He's so good, and he like is so good at performing. And I'm like, you have a talent that that's wild. It's he unreal. could be an actor, to be honest. He's like Jim Carrey. Like I, I think yeah. he would do really oh, well at you're it. You're right. He would do really like, well at that. Like when he acts like you, it's quite literally terrifying. I, I like know. watched. We watched. He made me watch the video when we first started dating, and I was like. 
<laughs> <laughs> and you stuck with him. That's amazing. There's a few videos that like, I, like, I had filmed. The that part I was like, when he's like, he was like, Monita. I was like, that sounds just like me. Monita. <laughs> he's, he's like, like Monita, what's wrong? And he's like, I have, he tells me to this day, he's like, I coined, like, it's not broke bunny. It's buff bunny. I know, because I say that in my videos sometimes now as a joke. Like, if I'm buying something, I'll be like, it's Buff Bunny, not Broke Bunny. But he coined that. Yeah, he coined that. Oh, my God. And I then bunny, it. bunny Money. It's that Bunny Money. Oh, yeah, money, Bunny honey. Money. Yeah. It's bunny money. I think he coined that, too. Yeah. I own some royalties. He's, he's, he's iconic. He's fine. He's doing well. He doesn't need it. Yeah. But <laughs> you should be his manager and make him go do acting. He would do pretty well. I They're agree. actually getting more TikTokers and influencers acting now. I feel like he would be great. I've seen that. I've seen Viners that are in movies. And I'm like, wait a minute. Same. Yeah. Same. Oh, my God. We, we completely, completely went off. <laughs> oh, I know. Wait, where are we? Um, your, what's your that high? Was your, what's your high? Oh, okay. So my high, let's see, for business, I would say uh, we just announced like the No Filter collection for Buff Bunny Collection. That's been so exciting. I'm obsessed. It's so good. So cute, right? Like a lot of the pieces are great. So that was fun. And then let's see, personal high. Um, let's see. I'm still getting used to being wifey. That's been fun. <laughs> It's really weird to say husband. Really? It's well, it's not weird, but I think because we went from boyfriend, girlfriend, I've always said boyfriend, boy for eight years when you say boyfriend, yeah. boyfriend, boyfriend, boyfriend. And then very little fiance, and now I'm like, my husband. Like it's fun. But it's like, ah it is, yeah. <laughs> Do you feel that way about fiance? Yeah, I forget to say it all the time. And Max's yeah. like, you mean fiance, and he does it too. I'm like, I don't know when it's gonna stick. Yeah. And then right when it does, it's going to be husband. Yeah, it's going to be husband. I'm like, this is my husband. You're like, remember when I used to call you boyfriend? You're my boyfriend. That's yeah. insane. I can't wait. I can't wait. I know. Can't we're, wait. Just, we're just waiting for Sid now. We're like, it's coming. hey, Ryan, you It's coming this? at some point. I can't. <laughs> it's coming. It's this year. If you need help planning, I'm going to know. need help because I don't know the like first thing about that stuff. Taylor's great. I, I relied on Taylor a lot. I was like, I'm going to need all the help. I have to say it was great. Like, it's so good having a friend, like, being engaged at the same time that you are, that, you're, like, you're also going through, and you're like, oh, my God, why is this so expensive? Oh, my yeah. God, people aren't RSVPing. Oh, my God. Like, Oh, and, my God, the RSVPs. I know. Like, we make jokes about this it. This way. Yeah, I know I'm not ready. I'll come for him. Yeah. I'm going to send Heidi on these people. <laughs> Did Like, you? you're not coming. Yeah. Have you sent out Save the Dates? No. I almost asked. I was like, we didn't get one. I'm like, wait, I'm literally, in the, I'm literally <laughs> in the wedding. Literally in the wedding. <laughs> You'll still get to save the date. Um, no, we we just got our engagement pictures, like slowly getting them back. And so oh, we they're make looking it. good. Mm -hmm. Have you you haven't seen them? Oh Not my yet. god, I want to see. They're so romantic. They're <gasps> like a Pinterest board dream. No, they're iconic. They're super cutesy. I know they're gonna be like Max looks like iconic. a little Barbie. Does he really? He looks so cute. He looks cool. like um, Prince Eric. No, he does. We talked to, you know, those books from like the nineties where there's like a guy that's shirtless with like really long hair and like a girl, they're like on the beach. It's yeah. like, it's like, you know, love the love novels, like the romance novels. Are you, are you guys in like swimsuits? No. <laughs> oh, I was like, is he, is She's he like, are you bikini this? engagement pics? <laughs> yeah, bikini pics. No, I wish I'd be iconic, but no, unfortunately. Did no. you get engagement pictures? You got married so fast. I mean, you got yeah. You got engagement pictures in Egypt. Oh yeah, like our proposal photos. Yeah. I think we kind of used those, and we had like a little wedding in Alaska, so we used that those. True. Oh, those I were loved. iconic. I had like one more photo shoot. And Christian's like, I'm done. I can't. I was like, please. Like, Y'all need to just yeah. one more photo shoot. One more because I have my mom's dress. And I want to do this really cool thing in a field. Yeah. Like very drama, very like candid vibe. I love that. I might still do that. I was like, should. A honeymoon pic. I don't know something. No, I mean you could. The thing is like. You never are going to be in this stage of life again. Yeah. Might as well. Yeah, all so the, I might do one more. But actual, like, engagement ones. I think our our proposal ones, we took, like, because we took a lot of photos after we got engaged. Yeah. So, yeah well, and I also forgot ones. the Alaska was iconic. The, they were so good. Yeah. Poor Christian was like, wait, what are we doing? I was like, we're signing the paper, and our parents are here, and I'm getting a gown. He was like, I guess I'll get a suit. <laughs> Y'all look in the so freezing. Good. And it was freezing. So cool. 20 below zero. And you're just like sticking those heat. Yeah, <laughs> I was like, man, this is cold, but it was fun. Of what I made love it fun? That. That's insane. Like, I can't even imagine how, like what that feels like. It's death. It feels like <laughs> your sisters were saying that like you weren't supposed to, like you're not supposed to go outside during that time. You're not. And yeah, Heidi's like, we're gonna know. risk like, it all gonna, for these pictures. Yeah, we're gonna get married. I was like, Let's risk it for the biscuit. But it feels like little needles all over your body. Pain. Yeah, it's pain. It's yeah. like pain, but. Have y'all gotten Botox, both of y'all? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. It feels like that all over your body when they, you know, they stick you. Not maybe like not that intense, but like a little bit less. Like it's like when you feel the ice 
all of your body like that when you're basically naked. Yeah, you're literally wearing like nothing. So yeah, it's not good. Um, It's not good for your lungs either. But I guess like I'll pass. (laughs) Yeah. Okay. (laughs) And your sisters were like, "Come to like." I met Heidi's entire family when we were in the Caymans, and they were like, "Come to Alaska." And I was like, "Yeah, I'll be there this summer. I'm not going in the winter." Does it get warm? Yeah, yeah, it gets. uh, I mean, like right now, my sister FaceTimed me, and I was like. Uh, we call it breakup season when the the snow finally starts to to break up and you start to see somewhat of a summer, but they were like, nope, it's snowing today. I was like, damn, that sucks. But in the summer, I think it there was like twice. I think there was a record where it got to like a hundred for like a day. Wow! But they don't have AC there, so it's like that's actually a problem when it gets to, if it gets to like a hundred for a day. You're like it's boiling. Hot, you're yeah. boiling. You don't want it to get hot. You don't want it to get that you're hot. Like, but usually I like seventies. Really ice. 70s for like a month, but that's perfect. That's I beautiful. Would do that. Yeah, that's stunning. That just made me great think of weather. A um, what? We'll get into it later. Okay. Oh wait, highs and lows. Oh, right? yeah. yeah. My yours? high. Shoot. Um, nice I feel like I feel like so much has happened this week that it's been like a really good productive week, and I le- I loved it, and I needed it like mentally and work wise. Um. I want to say I feel like some so much has happened. I don't even know. It's like a high high. Um, one of my wedding dresses came in. <gasps> I haven't seen it yet. It's the one that I said yes to before I said yes to the actual wedding <laughs> Wait, dress. Wait, I saw that. <laughs> it's okay. Yeah, outfit change. Outfit, outfit change. change. You can have like five um, outfit changes. Yeah, no, that came in. So I'm really excited about that. Um, I just feel really fulfilled this week. If that makes sense. That's good. That's a good high. I love that. For you. I don't know That's why. That's a high high. And then like low. Uh, I hate to get into it, but like the only thing that like was my low was like I did a podcast with like Max and Joe, and like there was just people that say some like mean like outlandish things, and like they most of them got blocked by like Max and everything, but like they just people are crazy. We've talked about this. I know. I just let it roll off the shoulder, what? but like I was people, like, I'll go in there and throw some hands. People went off. People went off, um, and they were like, "She's so annoying. She's so entitled. Like, oh my god, she's only with Max for the money." Her and Joe hate each other, and I was like, "Joe and I don't hate each other. Joe's like my brother, and we just bicker. y'all just fight That's like siblings. Joe's personality, literally though. like siblings. We're literally <laughs> brother and sister." But that's his personality. Yeah. He, yeah. he fights with everybody. Yeah. Everybody. They just, people just don't see that side of him. And he's like, Taylor, you are literally like one of the only girlfriends I actually like. And I was like, thanks. <laughs> it's because like you'll fight back. I feel back. personally yeah. attacked yeah. at this moment. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, no, no. Like, I don't count. He, he was talking about like, I mean, he, like, let's be honest, Max is like his best friend. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm the only girl he hangs out with. So I'm like the only girlfriend to like. And you'll fight it. You'll put him in his place. Yeah. Which is good. Yes. But like, he's like my brother. Like, yeah. I'm very close with like his dad and uh, stepmom too. When you knew him before Max, right? Yeah. But like, I won't say like we were friends. Like we, we like were friends on Instagram, but like we weren't like hanging out. Yeah. Right. But like I had known of him. Like acquaintances. Yeah. Like knew each other. Like I met him through Christian. And like, cause it was like that day that we were all oh. walking around Alpha Land. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah. That's when Christian showed me Odelia for the first time. Oh, yeah. That was That's so, when Elfland was getting built, right? That was so long ago. That's crazy. Feels like it was yesterday. I know. <laughs> I know. Okay, time Sid, high, low. Oh, gosh. Um, mine's going to be so just like, I feel like I had a really good business week. I signed on a lot of new clients, which is exciting. I feel like summer. Like, yeah. Um, yeah, girl. So love that. Um, and just like my clients are doing really well. Um, I also really loved our Pilates class this morning. So good. We crushed it. I was dripping sweat. Was you just, need to come. I, I want to go. We were shaking. It's so hard. I'm like, oh. There's, oh, it is hard. There was a point where I was like, I can't do this. No, she literally goes, okay, that was the warm up. And I was like, wait, we haven't started? <laughs> is there an option just to like lay in child's pose? If you yeah. <laughs> Like literally, <laughs> Heidi's like a cradle. I'm like, <laughs> um, fetal position. I'm like, are there margaritas here? <laughs> I need to be sedated. <laughs> <laughs> there was a point where I thought about it. No, I literally, I was like, wait, we haven't started yet. What do you mean? This is the warm up. I know. Th- I felt like the warm up was really hard today. Yeah, I had no idea. But I think that that needs to be like a staple. Mm-hmm. Um, low. I don't know that I have like a crazy. That's fine. The same as you. I feel really good this week. Really fulfilled. It's the weather. It's the weather. I yeah. swear by it. Good energy. There's there's good energy. We love this for us, guys. We're thriving and surviving. We're thriving. I'm proud of us. I'm, I'm literally I love this for us. Brain. Yeah, I don't know. I love this for us. Okay, Heidi, you're in the hot seat now. This is oh, all about God. you, baby girl. Okay, so for those, I mean, everyone here knows who you are, but like for those that don't know who you are, you want to explain yourself? Oh, my God. Goodness, yes. Uh, She's like, right. I'm Heidi Sellers. Like, what do I do? Um, whenever someone asks me what I do, I'm like, I do a few things. 
work yeah, out you, sometimes. Do you yeah. consider yourself like a business owner? I mean, you are a business owner, but do you can like Max is like, oh, I'm a YouTuber and I own a candy company. Like, how do you describe yourself? Um, I would say if someone asks, I'm like, oh, I'm a YouTuber. Um, I own two businesses. I. She's so humble about it. I don't. I don't know. Yeah. What do you mean? Like you own an empire, right? I'm like, hello. I do multiple things. Um, I make YouTube videos. I own two businesses, and I'm a wifey, a dog mom. I don't even know. She does it all, guys. What does she not do? I gotta get my shit together though, because we're doing a speaking thing soon. You'll be fine. That's so exciting. You're gonna be fine. Are you coming? Said you gotta come. come. I'll come. come. Max is gonna come. Oh God, is he really? Is this like a he wants to watch, and he's like, I don't "Can want I come?" Christian and I was, to go. Like, okay. I was like, "No, I was like, don't go." I'm gonna be like, "You guys are gonna get up and say stuff," and I'm gonna be like, "The." She's like, "Yeah, yeah girl." I want you to have like the little video camera. <laughs> I'll get one. We're like, Andy, can you film that? Thank you. I know. Well, Andy can't come. I'm gonna find someone else, but they're gonna mic us up, like subtle little mics, so yeah. we can record all this stuff. Yes. Perfection. Yeah. No, you do so much, and I feel like there's so many things that like you're just like a confident strong beautiful woman like woman and i feel like so many women look up to you like mm-hmm. for like what you do and like how you handle yourself and how you hold yourself and like it's like very rare to see and that's why i was like she's just so humble about it like oh, she's thanks, like guys. she's like owns her two businesses that are empires like one of the best fitness apps for women in the world Oh yeah, I guess I should. I'm like, oh, go I grounds. Hey, go go grounds. Go grounds and obviously Buff Bunny collection like I say is the best active. I've worn so many activewear brands, and that is the best like women's line. These Ooh. leggings are my obsession. <laughs> She's like, <laughs> Just yeah, I, I love those leggings. She's like, too. yeah, I yeah. did that. Okay, but like, how? Okay, what made you want to get into YouTube? Like, what, what, what was it that like started your brain? I think for YouTube um, or doing social media in general, because when I moved from Alaska to San Antonio, I gained like 30-ish pounds. I don't even know the exact weight. When people say, I'm like 30, maybe 40, I threw my scale out because it was like not healthy for me. Mm-hmm. Um, and when I started working out, I'm sure you guys can relate to this. When you first start working out and guys are giving you advice, you're kind of like, all right, some like 250-pound man is telling me to lift some weights and eat, take some creatine and eat some carbs. No, thank you. I was like, at the time, I was like, I don't want to get bulky. I don't want to look like you. So I don't feel comfortable taking mm-hmm. your advice. So I put my thought, I, I was um, studying biology at the time. So I was taking anatomy and physiology mm-hmm. and science of nutrition and a lot of courses that kind of help me learn about the human body. And I started coaching myself and learning all these things about weightlifting. And I really loved it. Mm-hmm. And doing social media, I was in school full time. I was like working a few jobs while I was doing that. So. I was just trying to lose a few pounds to feel good, look good, all the things while I was in college. But then just with the changes in my body, I was like, man, I feel really good. And I was like, I feel like I'm looking good. So (laughs) I started posting on Instagram content, you know, just like, oh, I didn't didn't think of it as content, right? I had a public profile. So I was just like, oh, like, here's my favorite meal. Oh my gosh, I'm loving eating my oatmeal this way or... At the time, I actually did a lot of yoga poses, like just for funsies. Which like, she's actually really good at. I'm, I'm not bad at it, right? You pull, I still got you it. You pull them out on the photo shoots all the time. And I'm like, I saw the one of you getting on your head the other day. She does I was yeah. like, wait, what? She does it all the time. I do. She has it's party fun. tricks. She's I got, got party, party tricks. tricks. And I enjoyed it at the time. So I would show, like, I think the hardest one, one time I did like a one-armed one. I got to find all these yoga poses, but... Um, so I enjoyed that. So I would share them. I was like, Hey, this is just something I enjoy. And so my following grew really quickly at the time because people knew like I wasn't trying to make it into a business. I was just doing it Mm -hmm. for fun. I was like, Hey guys, I'm in school full time working four jobs. I'm posting this because I wish that there was a woman posting these type of things when I first started. So a lot of people I felt like trusted me a lot. Yeah. So I just, you know, kept posting, posting, posting. And then eventually this is going to show my age, but when I got on Instagram, they didn't have videos. No. It was just mm-hmm. photos. So people were like, hey, like, we want to see your full workouts. How can you show that? So I would break it down in a caption with a photo. And they were like, uh. So then I had a friend who was like, you should do YouTube. And I was like, I don't know about that. <laughs> you know, because it's like there was like no, there was like maybe like four fitness girls, maybe yeah. even if that. Um, Kara Corey was actually one of them. I think she was the first pioneer fitness woman on YouTube, if I'm not mistaken. That's and really cool. she's, she's an so icon. Cool. Oh, she's an icon. She's absolutely iconic. So um, 
I started just like uploading my workouts and everything. And it was fun because you could be more open, I mm -hmm. think. But it scared it scares people because you're so vulnerable, yeah. right? Like a picture can say a thousand words. People can interpret it so many different ways. But a video, if you say a statement, I mean, that's a statement. That's it. That's yeah. it. Yeah. Um, but yeah, that's kind of like what got me into YouTube. And I, I really enjoy it. And then eventually I stopped school. I had like six classes left. <laughs> Lately, I'm like, should I just go finish those? Maybe Heidi. I will. I mean, it'd be cool to say At you this did it, point, but I'm yeah. like, <laughs> I know, and it's in biology, so it has nothing. I mean, it, yeah, it doesn't really help me and benefit me that much. But, but it's, I understand it. I get it. It's yeah. kind of cool, though. But you yeah. are so successful, too. Thanks. Like, how how did you feel, like, taking that leap, of stepping away from school? Um, That was definitely really scary because, I mean, I was, like, deep into school, right? I was, I built, like, a great resume. I mm -hmm. had six classes left. I was in the science club. I got asked to be actually vice president, and I was like, eh, no, I can't. Like, do I'm that. actually <laughs> dropping out. <laughs> yeah, I was like, I'm gonna be dropping out. But um, you know, built out my resume. I was a um, surgical assistant for a periodontist that specialized in implants for like two years, I think. So, like, I had a great resume that I built out. So to take that and be like, I'm just gonna go ahead and pivot and do something at the time was unknown I guess yeah because I feel like you were really like one like as Kara was a pioneer you were very much also a pioneer in the space of like fitness and like yeah. being a woman that like mm -hmm. leaves and starts their own brand and like I feel like when like you guys all started like y'all's Instagram to social media like I think about it and like that's just insane to me like y'all just because y'all were literally like the first ones like this is way before TikTok. This is way before like Instagram yeah. models. Like this before is like fitness influencers. Yeah, like you guys mm -hmm. were the first ones to like really like create this world. And be like oh, I can make I can make a brand and a living off of what I do and sharing my life. Yeah. That's insane. That's wild. When I look back, I'm like, man, I was you, stupid, but I'm glad I, I did it. <laughs> you know, I'm like, wow. So were, were you making money in like? But when you dropped out, were you already making money in like sponsorships and stuff? Yeah, so I I was doing online coaching like towards I think the last of the semester and when I started doing online coaching, I, it wasn't something that I was even like planning on, but I mm -hmm. had so many women that were asking me for, you know, plans. And I was like, okay, so I, I did it for free for a little while because I was like, well, I want to make sure that what I'm, what I can do is like, like kind of learn, right? Mm -hmm. I'll be like, I want to, because you learn so much with your first few clients. Um, and then I started doing, you know, free like download, not downloadables, because like, I didn't know how to do that at the time, but I was like, oh, $20, and I'll send you like a six-week home workout plan that's not catered to you, but you can still follow it, but if you want a custom one. So I kind of created my own little business, and I think my, I was doing like, I was doing a lot at the time. I remember there was one semester where I was like, I think it was my last semester in school, I was doing a bikini competition, doing social media, working multiple jobs, I remember I would like cry some morning, so I was so exhausted. But I was like, man, but if I can get through this semester, I could do anything. And like, I still remember that. So like during the hard times, I'll remember that hard semester. I'm like, if I could do that, pff, this is nothing. You know, cause that was like the hard time. Yeah. And that really like pushed me. But doing online coaching, I remember, I think the most I made was, it, it, it teared up, right? Yeah. And then I would close it off, but I would, I think I did like a couple thousand dollars and like 7,000 and like 20,000. I did like 30 grand in a month. And I was like, that's crazy. This Insane. is wild. But this is um, along the time when I was getting sponsorships too. So when I was getting sponsorships and it's funny because I was like, I had all this income, but I was, I was in a like two bedroom apartment, one outlet working. I could either blow dry my hair, make my oatmeal or microwave <laughs> <laughs> or use a coffee machine um, because it, I guess imposter syndrome, yeah. right? I was like, yeah. I have all this money coming in. I, I've built like a great business, but I still had like that imposter syndrome where I was like, well, what if this isn't forever? Maybe yeah. this is just for like a few months. And then what What then, right? Because it's right. that unknown path. Um, but eventually I just, I got more and more confident in what I was doing, you know, and, and at, there was a point where it's like, okay, I have to close my coaching off because I can only service so many people. Yeah. And then I just saved all the money. I, I was really like, I didn't spend my money like at all. Like I would just save it, save it, save it, save it, all the sponsorships. And then I used it to start up Buff Bunny Collection. And I did buy a pair of red bottoms. I did do that. I did do that. 
<laughs> We're so proud. I'm to get some. Yeah. <laughs> we love that for you. So you've done so much, and I feel like confidence is a true component into like why you did a lot of the things that you did. Like from confidence then to confidence now, like how did you build up your confidence? And how do you um, maintain your confidence now? Or even now? like yeah. the imposter syndrome. Like how'd you get over that? And being like, okay, no, I can do this. Um, you know, I think there's a few things that I did in my life that really helped me. I would say one thing which really helped me, I would say mentally be very, very strong, is when I lived in Alaska, I went through this like whole crazy chaotic thing. I was like cheated on, crashed my car, and lost my job all within like a few weeks and I was like oh my god that's a lot of trauma <laughs> you're like this makes is, you funnier though you're like there's just it one does, thing yeah. after another it's okay I'm okay yeah I was like I'm okay it's fine but I think going through that helped me become so much stronger you know people are like yeah. oh what doesn't kill you makes you stronger it really did in that sense mm -hmm. it took me time it's not like it happens like overnight yeah. it's not like you're immediately stronger but I remember I was like okay I'm gonna go one year no dating celibate no nothing absolutely nothing and I was like I'm gonna focus on myself because I feel like I feel, I feel like there's been some point where we've all been like a mm -hmm. little boy crazy right yeah maybe not your priority maybe we're not sleeping yeah. around or anything but a little boy crazy yeah. right just yeah. getting attention yeah. yeah getting distracted or like oh I like this attention but I was like absolutely not so I took I gave myself one year where I focused on me and after that full year it really challenges you right because you like tell yourself you're like no no, I'm not going to go on a date. No, I'm not going to whatever, entertain this guy, or I'm not going to play the game or whatever it is, right? Um, I really like, instead of looking outwards, you like really look in and yeah. you're like, oh, you get to know yourself. It's almost like you date yourself, right? Mm -hmm. So instead of, I don't know, finding entertainment for the weekend, not that I would do that, but <laughs> you entertain yourself and you get to know yourself. <laughs> yeah. And I got to know myself so well. Mm -hmm. I got to be so self-aware of what I like and what I don't like, what I deserve, what I don't deserve, that that one year actually turned into three years. But I loved it. I was like, after a year, I was like, do I even need a man? Mm -hmm. I think a few times people ask me, like, are you just like a lesbian? Or like, what's <laughs> going on here? I was like, no, I just, I know my worth and I don't want to just be with anybody. Mm -hmm. you yeah. Know? So I think that really helped me because I definitely... I definitely like grew so much as a person. You got sense. to know yourself. Yeah. You really just like, you dig deep on yourself. Well, and like your sense of worth is coming from yourself instead of, because I think yeah. it's really easy to mm -hmm. be like, oh no, I'm getting it from this or that. Yeah, exactly. Sometimes we'll, and and not everybody, and, and sometimes we're all guilty of it a little mm -hmm. bit where we're like, someone will be like, oh, like, like a guy will flirt with us. And we're like, oh, it boosts our confidence. Whereas it's funny. I don't think I've ever talked about this, but like at the time when I was like celibate, I was dating myself, right? I went through this phase where I loved buying cute matching underwear bra sets. No one ever saw them but me. And that was like a little part of my thing, right? I would go shopping and I would buy myself cute underwear lingerie sets, if you will, but I wore it for me. I didn't wear it for another guy. So that was like a whole other like little thing, right? Um, so just like celebrating yourself and making yourself feel validated and look good. And then eventually someone will come along that's worth it. And he did. And he did. <laughs> I have full you know? body chills. Yes. Yeah. That's really inspiring. How do you, okay, so how do you maintain your confidence now? Now, um, well, I would say that definitely helped me. And then having a business definitely helped, you know, no matter how small, how big, you could have a startup. You could be like the, you know, when, when people think of business and they think of me, I don't think like, oh, to get that, I have to have a team and this and employees. It's like, no, like I really, I learned a lot. You started from the bottom. I started from the bottom. You know, I learned when, you know, those TikToks where it's like, oh, meet the CEO. And it's like the same person for CEO, for like the packer, for the assistant. Customer like, service. That, <laughs> customer service. I was like, that was me. And um, I learned so much confidence because once you start a business, you're like, oh, it's a what's the term like dog eat dog world like people can take it's advantage brutal. of you yeah. yes and you really have to learn to stand your ground in order to do that and as someone that was like a very much of a people pleaser like my love language is acts of service <laughs> yeah <laughs> I think that's actually all of, all our of us all yeah. of us we're all acts of service our love language and people can take advantage of that and so I learned real quick how to stand up for myself when, when a business because like people are sneaky People and are. the thing is, like, she's one of the nicest people ever. I know. I okay. am, but man, like, there's she been some situations where people are like, 
I I'm think like, Heidi, like it's really been cool to see over the years, like me being friends with Heidi. Like, cause like I, when I met Heidi, I met Heidi at Eric's salon. I was like oh, in the middle of a yeah. photo shoot. Mm -hmm. She's getting her extension fixed. Her extension what was- What year was that? That was like 20, 2019. 2019. Your extension was falling out of your head. They Those were so bad. Those were, <laughs> and Eric was saving my life. <laughs> her extension was falling out of her head. And so, I've been there. And so mm -hmm. she came, I was like in the middle of a photo shoot and she like sat, they were sitting down like, and he's like touching up her. I was like my makeup done and they were fixing her hair. That's like how we got to know each other. And we started following each other on social media. Yeah. But it's really cool to like see like from like the outside perspective like I had known who Heidi was. Sugarland's very small area. Obviously, everybody mm -hmm. knows everybody. Houston's just small in general. In general yeah. yeah, and it's really cool to see like, like as a friend, and like also like somebody that's like I've modeled for you, I've worked for you. Yeah, it's for like years for it's years. Wild. It's like kind of cool to like see the dynamic, and like now like to say like you're one of my good friends, and like. I've seen Heidi like have to stand up and like stand her ground in situations. And it's yeah. like, she's one of the nicest people and like everyone will say it. And anybody that meets her like, and like gets the opportunity to meet you, everyone's like, she's just as nice as like you would think she is. Mm -hmm. And like people are always like, oh, like there's no way she's that nice. Like, no, she's genuinely that nice. But like, it's so cool to like see her be like, no, like she's, she's built boundaries and like this is something yeah. we've been working yeah. on boundaries is my I favorite word i'm like yes but we've we've worked on them i feel like the yeah. past couple of years like boundaries and like with our friends with the family like with people around us our work like yeah. what we give out to the world like it's so important it's so important it's like really cool to like be like no like because heidi is so nice and like she does so much for other people and like she's finally like no like you aren't doing me justice and like you're disrupting my peace and like happiness and I disrupting can't do that. Disrupting my peace. Yes. yes. Mm -hmm. So it's really cool as like a friend to see that like and like see you like Thanks, stand up Tay -Tay. for yourself. Love you. Love you. We're like <laughs> <laughs> we're so lame. <laughs> we are so lame. That's why I like this podcast. We can be girly and fun. Oh yeah. The whole there's, half no there's no judgment. First half is like us just joking around. <laughs> well and that's what because I was thinking about this earlier this week and Ryan was like what are you going to ask her? And I was like, ah, uh, well, I was like, I feel like she's been on podcasts before where she talks about business. Like, yeah. we're just going to be girls. Yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> we're just going to be girls here. We didn't want it to be too serious. Like, mm -hmm. like, careful. <laughs> <laughs> We've wanted, like, we wanted people to see your personality, like how we are when we hang out, like your, yeah. your goofy side. Cause like you are fun, you are goofy. We mm -hmm. talk about everything. Like the reason, like I, we even thought about starting a podcast, like Heidi has been pushing me to do this for like as long as I've known I know. her. I was like, do it, do it. She was like, maybe one day. I was like, please. She's I was like, like, I, I want know. a girl's pod. Yeah. And so I was like, we love the guys ones, but we love the girls. We love yeah, the girls. No. It was missing. It was missing in yes. our like friend group of like what we needed. Mm -hmm. So it's really cool to see. I actually like on the note of like setting boundaries, like a, a lot of people that like, uh, we'll get into the questions that everybody sent in because there's so many. Um, there's really funny ones, but one that like predominantly stuck out to me was like being in the world that you are and like having so many, like like having access to so much and like all opportunities that you've received and like you do have notoriety and you are like, you do have a very large following obviously. like when it comes to like people around you, like how do you know, like to choose the right people? Like, are you skeptical about people coming into your circle? Like, how do you feel Ooh, about that? There was like, that was like a majority of the questions people wanted to know really? like, how you react to that and like how yeah. you handle it. Or if like, you, do you feel scorned by certain people yeah. coming yeah. into your world? Or even just friendships over the years. Yeah. We've done like, like friendship how, breakups. Yeah, like yeah, has that yeah. changed? Like how do you, how do you handle that? How do you navigate that? Um, I've talked about this on, on YouTube videos and I think it's a good analogy of friendships in general. Mm -hmm. So I'm, I'm a big believer and I feel like some people will be in your life for a, a lifetime sometimes. Like I know you met my friend Brittany, right? Yeah. Yeah. So we've been friends for 35 years cause she was there when I was born. Um, I've had friends like, what's it called? Like seasonal friendships. Yeah, like they'll be there for a season or a reason. Yeah. A season or a reason. And that's, I think it's okay and it's beautiful because mm -hmm. Sometimes someone's in your life for like a little bit and maybe you just butt heads, you don't see eye to eye, your values change, things like that. So it's okay to have those longtime friendships. And sometimes friendships are just meant to be like a little phase of your life. Mm -hmm. um, I'm also, because boundaries is one of my favorite words. Um, I think sometimes people are friends with other people because of the amount of years. I can't tell you how many times I've had friends I'm like why are you letting this friend treat you like that mm -hmm. and they're like well I've been friends with them for 10 years and I'm like not an excuse and not an <laughs> excuse exactly I was like well maybe they should have been like a season you mm -hmm. know like maybe they should have been just like a few years yeah it doesn't mean that you're like an ice queen and you just cut it you know, off cut it off but if you butt heads and I, I'm 
I'm like, when you hang out with other women or friendships, I feel like you should leave feeling fulfilled. Like you should feel, wow, Mm -hmm. this person inspires me. This person uplifts me. But if you feel like down, attacked, if you feel like you don't want to share your highs, right? I like that we have you highs. You guys have the highs and lows. I'm like, that's so cool. You're celebrating the highs. Whereas, you know, some women get competitive and this and that. It's like, if you feel those things, it's, it's not worth it. No. Time is the most precious thing Mm -hmm. like it's something like money can't buy time nothing can buy time and it's like who you spend your time with is so important Mm -hmm. um i also tell people i'm like it's okay to like date people like as like yeah as friends you think yeah like you you date people and you have ex-boyfriends and you can also do the same thing with friendships it's like sometimes you like date someone and sometimes like i've done that where i've like maybe hung out with a girl a few times and i'm like love her she's more of like a friend she's not a close friend like if I see her, I'm like hey how are you doing like I wish you well I want you to have a fulfilled life but I'm gonna keep my energy to me yeah like yep. protect your energy you have you know? to protect your energy I feel like yeah. that's so important too because like there are people that like kind of like grab at things and like unfortunately like women like have been pitted against women in mm-hmm. so many different situations and I feel like that's just kind of where our generation, this newer generation has kind of led us to. Mm -hmm. And it's like, at this point, I'm like, no, like I need to do this for me. And like, Heidi's definitely been one of the like main characters that like come to mind when I'm like, I need to figure out my energy. And like, I'm in like such a important and special space right now where I'm at in my life that like my energy is my energy. And that's what's important. Like, I can't have somebody like, I love you. It doesn't mean I don't love you, but like right now, like I need to focus on my energy. Mm-hmm. And yes. making sure I'm okay before it's like uh, you told me the when the, the mask. airplane masks fall down they tell you to put them on first yeah and so put like, it on put it on yourself first I and love then put it that. on yeah. I just goosebumps <laughs> actually I it's like, one of my favorite things she says she's like you know they say in airplanes like you put your mask on first before you help somebody else and I was like you right is, well I you need put to take that on a yeah. t-shirt yeah. <laughs> girl put social t-shirts yeah. we're selling it we're selling them girl social merch we're doing some merch we're dropping an airplane t-shirt can you imagine there's just like a picture of something. <laughs> I was thinking like a cute embroidered airplane on the side, but that's fine. <laughs> Whatever you want to no, do. Anything airplane that shows an analogy, you know? Oh my god, it's so true though. No, I think this is good though. You got to fill your cup up before you yeah. can mm-hmm. you pour can't, into others. You can't pour from an empty cup. Yeah. One like I remember you telling me this. One of the first episodes is we were talking about dealing with like trauma and stuff, and it was like you can either feel it now or like at some point you're gonna feel yeah, it. you're gonna feel you it. Can, yeah, and I think the same thing is true with pouring into other people like you can only do that for so long before it catches up with you Mm -hmm. yeah because eventually you just feel like drained Mm -hmm. and because we have to be protective of this because our love language is acts of service I know all of us have that like I I know that right um people will tend to see us and they try to take and take and take and it can drain you yeah I always say like my my best characteristic is like my strongest characteristic and my worst characteristic is that I care so much because I care so much that I'm going to keep giving and doing whatever I can to make that person happy and I'm going to help as much as I can but then my worst characteristic is the fact that I will constantly give to them and I will constantly fulfill what they need and I will constantly do whatever I can to make others happy before myself and Mm -hmm. I learned that like my strongest trait and my worst trait and like my weakest trait are the same thing yeah and that was like a huge like awakening to me when I realized like oh like yes I am this nice person but oh because I'm so nice I get taken advantage of yeah which is you can be a nice person yeah Yeah, you can be a nice person but still put yourself first yeah I've really I'm really loving the word no recently (sighs) yeah I'm still learning I love it I love the word no no wow just say no horrible I'm like (laughs) Max is like do you want to do this I'm like no yeah no. he's like, like, like no he's like you're saying no so we said yeah. like i don't want to do it yeah, yeah. the answer like, is no <laughs> he's like it's raining do you want to take the dog on the walk no no i don't See, i always get really high pitch i'm like yeah yeah i want to do it ryan's like you're lying through your teeth <laughs> <laughs> you're like i love it here <laughs> like, no, love it's, so much. Much. Like, it's, it's fine it's like there's a tear coming yeah. down <laughs> i'm fine <laughs> i'm fine we're fine okay Let's jump to something fun. You are a freaking wife. Ah, so exciting. What, it's wild. What has changed about like your relationship as a wife and what has been your favorite part of it thus far? You know, I think my favorite thing is when, when and this is just how I'm as a person, right? Like Christian has been like, I feel like not, not much has changed. Like we're doing the same thing, right? But I'm very logical. And so I'm either in girlfriend mode or I'm in wife mode. Mm-hmm. 
And I was like, you want to go to the wife mode? You want me to do more things? You want me to do this? Then you need to marry me in order to do... Like, that's just how I, yeah. I switch, right? Um, and and it's not like I told him that. It's just like, I'm, I'm very like, okay, I'm girlfriend mode, so I will not share finances. I will not do this. I have my boundaries. Yeah. And then I'm like, in my head, I'm like, when we get married, though, I'm more open to a lot of things. Yes, I will. Because actually, we've never started a business together. And that was me. Because I was like, right, I... But understandably. Yeah, yeah. I was like, I don't feel comfortable. And that's my boundary. I don't feel comfortable starting a business with someone that I'm not married to. So you're saying you're starting a business? Yeah, what? What are we, what are we getting at here? Oh, no, I mean, like... I'm like, I'm like there, there's, there's some ideas. There's I've some heard ideas. some ideas that you've yeah. talked about before. So I'm excited. Yeah. But like, there's a potential, guys. You've heard it here first. There's potential. There might be potential. A, a Guzman business. A Guzman business. But also, it's like, also like helping each other. Like, if he's like, oh, I, you know, like, what if you got more involved with like summer shredding or this or that? And in the past, I'm like, I put myself first. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And if I have time, I can. But now that it's like, oh, th this is ours, I treat it differently. And I think it's just because I'm very logical. I'm like, I have girlfriend mode, I have wife mode. Yeah. And now that it's in wife mode, I'm like, oh, okay, I feel more comfortable, you know doing more as I guess a supportive person and then with Christian I feel like he's definitely changed a lot he's very like like he makes me coffee every morning I noticed I saw your and story. breakfast every morning without without hesitation every single day and I was like it makes me so excited for you yeah I, I was like it's such it's like the dumbest little thing but he was like okay now that we're married we need like we need to establish we'll like do dinners yeah like we're gonna make dinners and like i will do the breakfast because you're basically useless in the morning i wake up i'm not a morning person i wake up and i'm like <laughs> she's don't talk mode. zombie yeah. she's not ready yeah i was like i'm very awake at like midnight and very creative but um at 7 a.m he's very full of energy he's like already taken all for a walk he goes to make us coffee breakfast i'm like I love that though. Love You're a little stress. gremlin still. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And I'm just a gremlin and I'm like, Ugh. I feel like y'all have really like, and I've noticed it too, like since like, I would say like December, like y'all, like y'all have always prioritized time with, with each other, obviously. But as like somebody that's like a passenger in y'all's car, when like we've, we, we, we're always together. Yeah. Like I see y'all together. It's really cool to like see you guys really prioritize like y'all's time together and like it's like yeah. they y'all have been so business focused, especially the past couple of years. Like you starting grounds, like him yeah. opening Alpha Land, like y'all's priority oh, was what a so time. it was such a time. Like it was such a crazy season of y'all's life and like so crazy. Y'all didn't have a moment. Like there was a moment where Max and I were like, they're going to bed at like three AM, like these poor people. Like and then you'd be up at like seven AM to go to a photo shoot. And I'm like, Heidi, are you alive? <laughs> I was like, let me check your pulse. Cause like you were so busy. And so frantic and like you had so much going on like it was such a great season for y'all because like you wanted to focus on work and you guys wanted to like grind and get what you wanted to do because you guys had so many goals and you still do and it's not that you don't but yeah. like now y'all's main like one of y'all's main goal is like spending time together and like yeah. starting a family we have a lot of starting time a now. family yeah i was like we can start a family and like it's so nice because we worked so hard and now like we talked about, okay, okay, we could retire right now if we wanted to, but we, we obviously don't. We love yeah. what we do. You love, yeah. Y'all are y'all are going y'all are growing up still. Yeah. Are, I don't think y'all have peaked at all. No, mm -hmm. it's like we we love what we do. It's so fun. I'm like, I love creating businesses and I love that I love that we love what we do. We're really fortunate. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But it's it's nice because we're like, okay, we have great teams. We need to like lean into them more to let them run things more so we can take a step back because we put so much in for so long. And so if anything, he's like super relaxed now. He's like, yeah, ah, let's like uh, go snowboarding for like two weeks. I'm like, we just got back. What do you mean? We're not going to go snowboarding for two weeks. Like he was watching <laughs> movies in the middle of the day. I was like, oh my God, Christian. I know. He'll this like is watch so good movies. for him. So good for him. And, I'm, and sometimes he feels guilty about it. I'm like, uh, no, you put yourself through so much. Those this is your th season. Those three years, like, yeah. and I wasn't like really like around for those. Like, I knew some of them because we would go, we'd work out at Alphaland when it wasn't open yet, yeah. and we'd go to into his to, like trailer, and he hadn't slept for three days. Hadn't slept, and he was like, "Can you try on samples for like twenty twenty five? And I'm like, "Huh?" I was like, "Samples for twenty twenty five." I remember I was trying things on, but like he like wouldn't leave, and I remember like even like dating Max, and Max like is like, "Yeah, I don't see this man." Like, yeah. how how did you guys navigate that? Like, I can't imagine. Um, I think there's pros and cons to yeah. it, right? So mm -hmm. I think before we dated each other, we both dated other people that weren't really like business minded people, mm -hmm. right? They weren't really entrepreneurs. They didn't really have as much drive. And, and that's not a bad thing, right? Yeah. It's just like there's different. You're on different levels. For different folks, yeah. right? Yeah. Um, 
And sometimes, you know, in, in, in my instance, you know, people will be like, oh, well, opposites attract. And I was like, yeah, but it didn't work out for me, right? I was like, I feel like I, I need someone that matches my hustle, that matches my drive, so I don't feel guilty working like a 12 hour day. You know, I feel bad if someone's like waiting for me at home. And same thing with him, right? Yeah. So when we got together, I was like, ooh, this could either be really good or really bad. No, because we're either gonna love yeah. it or we're never gonna see each other. <laughs> But we would make it fun, right? So I was extremely driven, and I was always told, you work too much, you're missing out on like all the fun things in life, but it's like, okay, well, you wanna go to the club, I'm gonna sit there in the club, and I'm like, God, I wish I was doing something more productive, yeah. productive with my life. I yeah. Was like, I don't wanna just be sitting at a club, although I do love the, the uh, occasional the club. The occasional, occasional club. club. She's like, I do love more the like a lounge. Club. Yeah. Um, but that didn't make me feel fulfilled. I was like, my work made me feel fulfilled, because again, love language is acts of service. I want to act on some sort of service for other people. Mm -hmm. And so did he, right? So we would have like work parties. We'd be like, ooh, why don't we like meet in the living room, put our headphones on, work and grind and like make food and snacks and whatever, right? So we'd find ways to make it fun. Um, but you still have to have those boundaries, right? So really being like, and that's what me and him will do is like, if, if it's been a long day, we'll come home and be like, what percentage are you at? I love this. Yeah, I, I we learned this. this actually from another podcast. Yeah. I don't remember, but you guys do this too? Um, I We don't necessarily say what percentage are you at, but I love this analogy. Yeah, so if he's exhausted, he'll be like, I'm at 10 right now. I'm like, cool. So I not I know not to come home and be like, oh my God, I'm so excited about life right now. Because yeah, he's it, like, it, it's, it's, it's like, like you make up for the, yeah. like you're, the, you're yeah. at 90. Yeah. Yeah, but I'm like, cool. I got dinner. Let me make it. You relax, chill. Let me pour you a glass of wine. I love that. And you, you make up for that 90, right? Mm -hmm. If you can. Now there's days where he's like, I'm 10. I'm like, I'm four. No, yeah. We're both like, we're just going to be zombies. Yeah. You, you told me this like last weekend. You were like, I, we Saturday, like we were so go, go, go. Because y'all had just come back from your honeymoon <laughs> and wedding and did not take a break. And like they were so go, 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 go. And you're like, on Saturday, we just laid on the couch and like we're zombies. Did nothing. Did nothing. She's like, you need to do that. Like, it's so refreshing. And I was like, yes, that sounds great. I'm like, as I'm like going. Yeah, schedule like, it. Yeah, schedule it. I need to schedule it. Yeah. In. We like, do it on Put in your calendar. I love that y'all do that. And I love that y'all are doing these check-ins. Like, I feel like y'all are so good of like a couple, like, cause you know what the stereotypes were like, oh, like you don't want a woman that's like a boss babe that like does all these things. Like, no, I feel like you guys balance it out so well. Yeah. And it's like, you guys break the stereotype that like people try to throw out there. Like you don't want a woman that can like meet your energy. Like, no, you do. You want somebody that like can like yes. relate to you. And like, obviously like traditional relationships are great. And I love traditional relationships. Like I would say Max and I are more of a traditional relationship, but like, what do you mean? You guys are both so driven. Are we, you kidding? I mean, I'm driven. I do a Ta lot. But I'm like, checking with Taylor. I'm like, Taylor, you're doing a lot. You need to relax. Did she's like, take a sit. Like, no. she's, like, oh. she's like, you've been out of town for like three weeks. Like you need to come back. And it's like, I know. And then she'll come back. And then she's like, I'm driving to Dallas to go model. And I'm like, you are crazy. But it's like, I feel like you guys like, but in your mind, like you are like such a, excuse my language, like badass bitch. <laughs> like you do so much. Like you're so cool. And like, you are like that boss woman, like where like it's like the red pill like world that like I I hate to see it, like I see it all the time, like and just oh, like people like that we're you. friends with. But the thing is, wait, what's the red pill? Uh, I don't know. Yeah. It's okay. So red pill is basically like women are. It's like the people that we don't like that we talk about <gasps> this. You know, that G wagon's There's not yours. Christian bought that G wagon. Oh, are we talking about Andrew Tay or Fresh and Fit? Are yeah, 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 both yeah. yeah both, you can say them. Mm. Both. That's what I'm. That's Red Pill. Just not my favorite podcast. Yeah, no, <laughs> nothing. I never uh, listened to Love you guys. Oh, love oh, you guys. But and those guys are like you, no alpha female, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're like you don't want a woman that like can do more than you. Like a woman needs to be like less than. below you. Yes. Yeah. Oh yeah, because I think some of those guys aren't they like? Oh, I test out a girl by making her do all of these tasks for yes. me, and I was yeah. like. So Wait, assistant. what? Yeah, me and yeah. me and Heidi like That's joked about date. it that we were gonna talk, come on podcast one day and just like talk about it all, <laughs> like let it all. Well, here we are. <laughs> well, here we are, guys. Oh yeah. Um, because that's that's not your G wagon, Heidi. Like, don't even get. I've been Heidi's like I bought this with my bunny money. Yeah. Oh, oh this was I, bunny money. That was um when I got my car, even though my car's not a G wagon, but like that was a thing with yeah. me too. And I'm just like, no, like no, and that I've talked about it before. Because I'm not nearly as successful as Ryan, but I'm just like, why? Like, I don't want that idea. Yeah. Like, why does it matter? 
Like, yeah. Why? Because Ryan was like, there. Like, Ryan did negotiate my entire, like, I didn't Well, yeah, because I, didn't I don't speak. trust men when I buy a car because I'm, like, terrified and they're going to, like, upcharge me for everything. Like, they're going to say, oh, like, Taylor, you need a whole new engine. I'm like, my engine's going to be perfectly fine. But, like, no, I will buy a whole new engine if somebody tells me because I know nothing about cars. Yeah. No, yeah. You don't know what you don't know, you know? I literally, they were like, how much do you make a month? <laughs> I and I was, I told him and then Ryan did the whole rule, like, rest of it. <laughs> Yeah, no. so you should have saw me the other day trying to update my registration. I brought in all these papers to the tax office. I was like, I don't know shit about fuck. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, I don't know what to do. I was like, I, I can run multiple businesses, but I don't know how to do my registration. <laughs> no, but I think another thing with you guys is like, yes, like you're a boss bitch, but she's also very feminine. Like no, she's in you her do. feminine. Yeah. Like you still handle it. Like you still do things for him. Like you make him his dinner. I yeah. make his, him his plates. It's he like would, we have a balance, He'd be right? starving yeah. without you. <laughs> yeah. Especially during he prep. He would be starving. And there's times where it's like, he'll be the alpha and I'll be the alpha. He doesn't, he, he's like, I'm always the alpha. I'm like, what are you talking about? We went to Egypt and in Egypt, it's more customary for the man to be like, the leader, the alpha. The yeah, yeah, yeah. But Christian's very introvert. So if someone came to the door, they're expecting to talk to Christian just because the culture there, yeah, right? Yeah, it's different. And I would come to the door and be like, oh, is your husband here? I'm like, oh, yeah, but I'm I'm probably going to sign the check and I'm probably going to order these and I'm probably going to do this. <laughs> like, You're like, it's going to be me. I, usually when we travel, I'm like the type A, right? Yeah. And, um, but over there, I could tell that they were almost like a little bit uncomfortable at some times with me making all the decisions and signing things and everything. And I'm like, I mean, it's our money, but like, he was just like, Cause he, he's like, there's, so there's times where like, I'll be like more of the alpha. And then there's, mm -hmm. there's times where he's more the alpha. I'm like, we can, we're I think partners. You'll, I think you'll handle it so well. Like yeah. you yeah. guys balance, y'all are a true balance. Like where, like I'm Christian in the sense where I'm like, I don't like, I know I can talk to people and I will like, if I need to handle situations and like I handle in like when we're at like a nice restaurant, like I order for the table and I tell them what bottle of wine to get. And like, I do all of that, but like when it comes to like somebody coming to the door, I'm like, please Max, you get it. Like, yeah, but like Christian is like me where I'm like, I get nervous when people ask me questions and I get introverted and I'm just like, eh. like I, I Yeah, someone you it. don't know, you're like, ah. Yeah, I'm like, huh. I See, I'm the friendly one, I'm like, what's up? Like the Uber drivers, Christian's like, can you talk to them? <laughs> Heidi like, talks, yeah. Heidi will just talk to her Uber drivers. I will, I'll like have full on conversations and be like, so what do you want to do in life? What are you doing? Oh, I do that. Yeah. yeah. I had a full blown conversation with Not an always, Uber driver but. about OnlyFans. <gasps> Cause he was telling me how many girls he drives around and he's like, and I, he's like, I'm putting in calculations in my phone. Like this is how much they're making. Oh, that's wild. Yeah. Oh. I was like, where are you taking them? <laughs> where are they, where <laughs> where are are they, they going? going? <laughs> Wait, I got to pee. Can I, we pause? Yeah, yeah. Go for it. I think it was at Jameson. I, honestly, I have to too. Welcome back guys. <laughs> we went to the bathroom and we're back. Um, like we haven't left. So you guys missed us for a second, but we're back now. Um, we're going to kind of move into a fun segment that we want to do kind of called Kind of called, kind of we're, what we're gonna call it is <laughs> what we're gonna call this is crazy things that men have said to us or stupid things or yeah. stupid things that <laughs> men have said to us. Oh, I can't. I'm excited for this, Sydney. I'm gonna kick it off. Kick it off, okay. Sid. So I do want to just add because I don't want to come across yeah. as toxic. There was a segment that we Taylor saw on TikTok and sent to me, and it was th things that my ex-boyfriends have said to me. Now I have one. So I'm gonna kick it off with an ex-boyfriend comment. Okay. Um, just because I think it's hilarious. So I, you guys only know me as a blonde, but I used to have dark hair like yours, Taylor. And I'm actually a redhead. Um, she's You're like, I'm actually redhead? ginger. You're I'm actually, yeah. You've been lying to us this yeah. whole time. Wait, I want to see you as a redhead. I feel like you look so pretty with I'll red show you hair. A picture. She was cute see. with red hair. Yeah. You, I'll show you a senior picture. Point, you had like strawberry blonde recently, I feel like. It was a little bit more, yeah. it was, it was more um, warm. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's because for, for the life of me, I can't keep my hair blonde anymore. But I, I also in like 2022 dyed my hair red again and immediately was like, no, immediately no. Anyways, my hair was literally like black and the, there was a person that I dated. This is like a senior picture. Um, <gasps> I love that red. It's so not, I'll have to show you when I went back red. My mom literally prayed every day. She's pregnant with me for red hair and she did not get red hair. Yeah. <laughs> she would I, literally be, at least she would be obsessed. Do wow. your siblings have red hair? No. Oh. I, don't, I, was like, I was like, you randomly just prayed for one redhead baby and you got me, sorry. See, Ryan and I pray that we don't have redheads. <laughs> Wait, really? <laughs> no, absolutely not. It's, you know, it's the most rare. You're the most rare person. Yeah. Well, it's that and I think green eyes and I have green eyes. You're way cooler oh, than You us. have red I'm hair. A, and you are the most rare. Mutant. That's She's like Ariel. less than 1%. You are literally Princess Ariel. Remind Ryan that. I'm just kidding. <laughs> no. Ryan knows you're rare. Um, that's why he's. He always says that, yeah. That's why you're wifey. 
That is wifey. Um, <laughs> that's an aura ring. <laughs> anyway, that iconic. <laughs> She's like, that's an aura ring. <laughs> Well, because when my dad came to town, he was like, what's the ring? And I was like, it's an aura ring. Don't worry. It's a replacement. Like, it's yeah, an aura, it'll get replaced. It's an aura promise ring. Yeah, so that's the whole thing. Because Ryan got it for me and he was like, well, it's going to have to be moved. And I was like, oh, okay. Yeah. Anyways. Hey, um, Ryan. So I, and this is not why I went blonde, but I, um, the guy I was dating, I dated him for like, literally like less than six months. He told me that he prefers blondes, but he settled for me. <gasps> And I was like, settled? No. Settled? No. And my sister was blonde and he I'm, was like, oh, your sister. And I was like, this is done. It's done. I'm Oh appalled. no, I'm throwing hands. That was the only toxic thing I could think of for exes, but men in general. You know, when men usually do that, there's a, the, the man Bible, have you guys heard of it? Yeah. And it has like all the tricks of the thing. Sometimes they do that. So you feel a little bit more insecure so you stay with them. Yeah. yeah. I, well, what's really funny is so toxic when we broke up um it was actually because I was moving here like I came here and I was like I'm actually gonna move to Texas and I just like don't see a future and he was like I want to marry you like you don't understand I want to marry you and I was like yeah the problem is that I don't want to marry you like you settled <laughs> be like and I don't want to settle so no I feel like that was like something similar this was like a college relationship and the guy was just absolutely toxic and he said something similar to me because there was like another girl in another sorority. And he's like, yeah, I had to choose between like you two and like I went with you. And I was like, what? There was never a choice. Like there's the sir. door. Yeah. yeah. You could have, you're lucky. You're welcome. You're blessed. Yeah, you're blessed. I'm trying to think of some other crazy things that I've been told. I've been told a lot of things, guys. Really Wait. like we could go through um, any any messages I've ever received really from any man. Yeah. There's always something there. Um, my favorite, there's been a few. Um, one of my favorites was that if I was to do Sports Illustrated, that that's something his wife would never do. Why? Oh, I. I What's mm. wrong with Sports Illustrated? That it was just disrespectful. Um, I was also told that like if I go out and I'm drinking, like that that's against our relationship. Like I'm not allowed to do that. Like I shouldn't do that. Damn. Let you me guess. Got, you would have got broken up with earlier when we took a shot. I know. <laughs> Let you me crazy guess. girl. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, she's too wild. I literally <laughs> went to go get like dinner with my parents one night and like my family and I had a glass of wine and I like got like reamed out. Are you kidding? Okay, wait, I just thought of one. This is so bad, so bad. It's not, I'm, it's funny, but it's not funny. Um, the night that my mom died oh, or the morning that my mom died, like we had spent the night at the hospital. So my phone died. Mind you, I'm 16 years old, but I had a boyfriend and um, my phone died. And obviously I wasn't worried about charging it. So when I plugged my phone in the next morning, to tell my boyfriend my mom just died. He was like, why the fuck was your phone off? I'm like, I was at the hospital. You're like, my mother's- He's like, I'm finding out from other people that your mom has, has passed away and not you. And I was like, I'm like, I'm not doing this right now at all. I'm no. appalled, that might be the he, worst. Yeah. That is the worst. It actually be a situation where he shows up. Yeah. It doesn't matter if you're not answering your phone, he needs to be there because why are you, you're not in the right emotional state. state to be texting all these people. No, yeah, exactly. I'm sorry, my phone would have been in the river. Like I yeah, wouldn't have been talking to anybody. What's the new TikTok sound? Like I slam my head in the car door. <laughs> that was me. That was you? Wait, Heidi, we need some from you. Oh, What's some crazy okay. thing Amanda said to you? I mean, I have a lot, but like, let's see. I remember this This one always like gets me worked up. Actually, it's funny, last night, Chris and I were talking, I was talking about how men control women a lot mm -hmm. oh yeah and not every man and but i also said women do the same thing for men sometimes yeah um but i was telling him about like a couple guys that i had dated in the past that would i was like i'm like a hard like because i can usually read energy right yeah. yeah i was like imagine i was like i'm a very strong-willed person but even i had been tricked a few times oh of yeah getting controlled and christian's like i can't see that and i was like if I can be somewhat controlled in some aspect, imagine other women that may not be as confident. You know, it's easy yeah. for people to, not easy, but I mean, some people are really good at manipulating. No, and like and I lost all small. sense, like in like one of my past relationships, I lost all sense of like who I was. Like you saw part of it. Yeah. Like I was just like not the, like the girl it I was am. was very controlling. Like very controlling. Like, and I just like wasn't me at all. And you like I was just be like- Taylor. No, and like I was like scared of like, going to dinners or I was scared to like hang out if I was out too late. Like if I was doing anything provocative, like I like didn't cross certain boundaries. And like, I understand that. And like, I respect that. Like, and I get it, but like anything I wanted to do, like if I was trying to grow in any way, like it was like shrink back down. Like I, I had to be like shrunk down to like this small yeah. thing. And like, 
it's crazy because like the time like that I was like that person that like met me and like he knew what I did. He knew who I was. He knew I had a social media following and he knew that I was Miss Texas or I was competing yeah. in pageants. I was competing in Miss Texas. I knew I wanted to compete in like modeling and do sports illustrated. Like that's my, that's my biggest goal. That was like everything I wanted and everybody knew that. And like, he loved that about me. And then all those things, like once he had me, he like didn't want those things to happen. He wanted you as like a trophy on his own. Yeah, arm. it was a trophy. Yes. Yeah. I was a trophy. And he, I realized like at that time, like I was like, oh, like he wanted me because I made him look better. But then when people were like, oh dude, like how are you with her? Like, how did you get her? Like, she is way hotter than you. Like, how yeah. is she, why is she with you? He was like, hated that, like hated it. And so he shrunk me down to like this small thing. And like, I was like disassociated with all my friends, like all my closest friends, I got rid of all of them. Like I didn't see any of them. I didn't talk to them, I didn't hang out with them. Like, oh my God, my favorite is like, I was wearing a buff bunny bodysuit. That thing, I looked good. Like I think was, I remember this. It was oh a, my God, tell me. I'm it was a little mad. blue one. The little blue one with the zipper is my favorite one. Yeah. With the like keyhole. The short keyhole, yeah. Keyhole cut out in the back. And he's like, you're not wearing that. And I was like, why? Like, it's literally. You look good in that. I was like, it's active wear. I modeled it for Buff Bunny. And he's like, you cannot come to wherever you are like doing that. I'm like, I'm not even getting out of the car. Like, I'm literally dropping you off. And he's it's like. It's a cute fit. He's like, I do not want to see like, like my teammates see you in that. And I was like, okay. And so I literally changed. I yeah, changed. I can't. I can't. I changed my outfit. I've never been like, I've. So annoying. Oh, so annoying. Oh, well, let's see. Some other things, some traumatic things. I mean, obviously, my favorite one that's ever been told is like, you're way prettier when you don't talk. I remember <gasps> that one. That's my favorite thing somebody's ever said to me. I was just, I had that one tucked in the back of my head for you. <laughs> I was like, oh. Be like, and that's why I started a podcast. You yeah. can hear me talk more. <laughs> you can hear me talk every <laughs> day on every Sunday. Unless oh. you don't. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Unless you don't. That's one of my favorites. Let's see what other things. Um, recently, I also love when like men just are like, you look prettier when you're smiling. Like, why aren't you smiling? Like, I mean, maybe I don't want to smile, sir. I, yeah. Like, maybe I'm thinking. I'm, I'm like, do men walk around smiling all the time? No. no. When I worked as a server, um, guys would say that all the time. And I'd be like, Ugh. Mm. <laughs> I love I those videos like, where girls go in the gym. They're like, "Give me a smile more." And they're like benching while they're yeah. smiling, <laughs> <laughs> like, like an eye twitch. <laughs> yeah. Um, let's see what other things. Um, I've had like. What about in the pageant world? Have yeah, like in just general. Yeah, just ha I guess I guess men like, like managers or other people's managers. Um, or I mean, I've had like crazy things told to me my whole life. Like I've had people like, "Oh, like yeah, you like." Even at my smallest, like a 120, one, I'm 125, but like a normal smallest was like 118, 113 was my smallest, smallest. And people were like, you need to lose weight. Like you need to, I fully, like there was a point where I was like, I'm gonna get a rib removed. Like I'm gonna like go get filler. I'm gonna get my boobs. And like, I almost literally flew to like Ecuador. And like, I was like, I had just turned 21. This was 2017. And I almost changed everything about me. I almost got my wow. boobs done. I was gonna get like veneers. I was gonna get my rib removed. Like I was about to do all these things to like make myself like this image of like what the perfect pageant girl was at the time. And like, uh, I, unfortunately, like not everybody in pageants does like boob jobs, lip filler. And there's nothing wrong with that. Like do whatever you do to like make yourself feel confident. But you did it without doing that. Yeah, I did it That's without so doing cool. it. Like I showed that like, and like even like, Sherry will say it. She's like, you know, Taylor like has no boobs. Like she's flat chested. Like she's like one of the only flat chested girls at Miss USA. Cause I literally like was like an A, like I'm still an A, but like had no boobs. And she's like, you know, like I admire that. Like things look good on her because she has no boobs, but like everybody else that competes in pageants, like are so used to like big boobs. And that was just like the thing. Yeah. And like, I didn't want to do that. Um, but think of all the women out there that are natural chested, mm -hmm. maybe smaller chested, which I think looks great. Like y'all yeah. seen that Kate Hudson movie um, in the yellow dress when it's oh, how, yeah. how to lose a guy in 10 days, my favorite movie. Yeah, I was like, man, I wish I had her chest for that dress because it just looks so It would iconic. still look good on you. The, <laughs> the wedding, the ghost wedding you went to. Yeah. The sherry, the green cherry dress. Yes. Oh, that I love so that dress. Pretty. And I'm like, I just don't think it would look the it same would, on me. It would look so good on you because trust me, I've seen it with somebody that has like good boobs and I'm like, oh, <gasps> I'm like, that's iconic. <laughs> um, but think of all the young girls that have I know. seen you win and they're like, I can oh, do like, it Oh, like I don't too. need to have yeah. implants like for that to happen. No, yes. I love that. 
Um, and I think it needs to be like more of like a talked about thing that like you don't need to change yourself in order to like win a title. Obviously, yeah. like you want to perfect and like be as good as you can, but like at the end of the day, like it's not so much your appearance. It's like it is appearance, it's, but it's, it's like a who, whole package. It's who you are, like your brand, like how you speak to people, like the things that you do. How you carry yourself. Yeah, your not philanthropy. You yeah. yeah, it's like how you look is a very small segment of it. Obviously, it's a, yeah. a beauty pageant, but it's also like so much more that like goes into it and like the depth of like who you are as a person. My One of my favorite questions as like a miss, like when I first became a miss, I was like 18, um, a man asked me and he's like, you're pretty tall. And like, I used to wear like huge, like in pageants, like we would wear these huge heels. They were like mm -hmm. five inches. So I was like, I'm five nine. So I'm like over six foot at this point. And he's like, you're pretty tall. Like, is it hard for you to find a boyfriend? What the? And I'm like, I'm like 18. I'm like, um, I was like, you know, I am pretty tall. It's like, but height doesn't really matter to me. <laughs> <I'm> like, <laughs> height doesn't really matter to me. And, you know, honestly, like right now, like that's not what my focus is. Like I'm not looking for a relationship. I'm not looking for a partner. My job, my goal, my job is like to win this title. And that's my, that's my relationship. I'm going to be dedicated to the title. Hell yeah. That's a good answer. answer. But I was like, I'll never forget. Like, and like, after that, like he didn't want to ask me any other questions. Like he wasn't asking me anything about like substance of like, like who I am things and like that's when I knew I was like I'm not winning that's like uh, there's no way like there's no reason like this man is just asking me like oh you're like, tall. Is it hard to find a boyfriend is, it like, hard? is that the hard like it, there was no other question you could ask like it, literally nothing like you don't want to know anything about me like you have my whole bio you're reading it all like you you know like you, you have all these things like that you read about me like for you to ask questions about me mm -hmm. and like what I've done and like who I am as a person or like even ask me a political question like I don't care like ask me anything those are hard me and Christian went to a pageant I don't remember which it was Miss pageant. Houston it was when Logan won Yes. Okay. That was the first one we went to because mm -hmm. I think she was competing. My friend Jessica, Christina, there's a couple girls, right? And I was like, let's go support. I'd never been to a pageant. I've only been to bikini competitions, yeah. like bodybuilding ones. So I was like, all right, cool. So we show up and I was like, oh, so they're just based on like looks because I don't yeah. know, right? Yeah. yeah. But no, it's not just looks. Those no. questions they were answering, me and Christian were like, we would fumble those hard. Yeah. Like they were hard questions. It's like, I like most of like, I'm like, if we want to talk about things that like men have said to me, like if you go read the comments on Max's last podcast, like these men think I'm an idiot and think I know nothing about what's going on in the world. And I'm like, you guys do realize like I'm professionally trained in answering questions. Like I can answer anything. Like I went to, I went to so many practices. I've done so much professional training to do this. Like I've had public speaking. I not only got a freaking communications degree and a, and a broadcast production degree. I have two degrees. I'm two degrees hotter than those men. And <laughs> I'm like, and you guys are acting like I'm stupid. Like, I don't know what I'm talking about. Like, they're like, there's no substance there. I'm like, yes, I might say like a lot. And like, there's like, obviously like, I do too. And yeah. like, we all do. I'm sitting with Max and Joe and like, if you guys know our relationship and know us, you guys know I don't get a single word in. Like I get cut off all the time talking to those two. Yeah. And so, or they're like, Taylor talked too much and like she cut Joe off like so much and like she's fighting and the da 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 Like Max needs to be careful with her. Like she's so like manipulative. And I'm like, what? what? Yeah. Jinx. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. My favorite, somebody like commented and was like, she's so strategic the way she answers questions about financial things. Like, how dare she? Like, I've seen this. How like, dare she know finances no, and no, accounting yeah, the, or whatever? Why do you, like, the question was like, how much would you spend? If I gave you, Max gave me my credit card, like, how much would I spend? If he, he was like, go buy an outfit for like a date. How much would you spend? I was like, I don't know, like a hundred, a hundred. I, like, first I said, I, pro I probably said, like, well, I wouldn't spend the money. Like, I don't want to spend money on your card. Like, I feel guilty when I use this card for groceries. I was like, I probably wouldn't use it. And I was, he's like, no, but like, give me an answer. Like he was like hounding me to get an answer. And I was like, oh, I'd probably see like 150 because it's like not yeah, a crazy amount like, of money. And they were like, oh, like, and that's like where they were like, oh, like she's crazy. Like she's she's lying about that. And I was like, no, I probably wouldn't spend more than $150 on his card when he told yeah. me to buy an outfit. Yeah. And, the, and then Max and Joe were like, $1,000. <laughs> and I was like, oh, I'm way low off. I'm way low. They would spend 1000 of your dollars? No, they told me that I could spend $1,000. Oh, and I was like, oh, I didn't know that. But the thing is, for people to be like, oh, she's so strategic and like she answered that. Like, why wouldn't you be when you get attacked no matter what? You could yeah. say I wouldn't spend it or you could say I'd spend $5,000 and they'd, you'd still get. I learned you're, you're damned if you do, you're damned yeah. if you don't. I was thinking, um, don't read the comments. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was like, since we're talking about all these like allegations and stuff, do y'all guys keep up with uh, a man, uh, Andrew Tate? 
Oh, God, uh, no. no I, I was like, can we talk about him on yeah, here? Yeah, of course. I don't keep up with him because I can't stand the guy. Oh, I don't and, keep like, up with him. But like, I, I don't like, think he's on social media anymore. Yeah, I thought he got blocked. Like, he's not allowed to be on socials. That's probably good. <laughs> I, I was like, thank God. <laughs> thank God. <laughs> but I didn't keep up. Like, no, I don't. I mean, I know he had gotten arrested again for like certain things. Like he was trying to flee the country. They caught him. Um, that's happened multiple times. And I'm like, yeah. there's just a track record there. And like, I just... Max, like one of his like viral videos was like showing me like Andrew Tate things. And I'm just like, there's no, like, I'm sorry, but this is something that I say about people that like disrupt my peace. I'm like, there's no like negotiating or arguing with terrorists. Yeah, yeah. that's very true. It's like, if they're gonna just, oh, I don't know. But like, so there's, I've seen like a lot of stuff, right? And there, I feel like right now, like, and it's not like I keep up with them all the time or anything like that, yeah. but I might hear a guy defend him sometimes like oh but Andrew Tate and I'm like okay let me just do my due diligence I'm very logical I was like, yeah let me just uh, like dip into these court cases that are happening I like yeah. to look at facts right yeah like if you guys want to know facts let me look at the facts so then I started looking at his court stuff and he is saying oh these allegations aren't true this 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 and I'm like okay well let me look at the text messages and everything and I'm and I'm looking at him like he's grooming these 18 year old girls. Yeah, some very, of them, some of them weren't young. even 18. Some, some of them, them were younger age. Yeah, I and don't I was know like, this. <laughs> I was like, this is a control thing, right? He's telling these girls like, oh, I love you. You're my wife. You're the person I'm gonna marry. Blah blah. blah. Oh, but I'm gonna have you stay at these this house with these other girls. They're like working girls, but this is like our future and this is our money and this is our. He's mm-hmm. controlling them. He's manipulating them. I then he's like, oh, but you should go in this other. Oh, but this girl's doing a TikTok live. She, like we make money from it. Like you should go in the live. And he's like, and I'm looking at this thing. I'm like, he's grooming this girl. Yeah. Then he's saying, let's work these bitch like slaves. <gasps> I'm not gonna. Don't tell them that they have an OnlyFans account. They have this all these like accounts that they're making these girls, they don't yeah. even know that they have one. That's Wait, so sick. what was he posting on the OnlyFans? Like pictures of them and making money and they didn't even know that they had an OnlyFans account, fake TikTok accounts where they would make, just like a lot of, to me, I'm like, he's- Non-consensual. He's prostituting them and they're not knowing to the full potential and they're young. I was like, I mean, I didn't do that kind of stuff when I was 18, but you know. I had really great parents. Not everyone does. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, Imagine if that if that was your daughter and she was going through a bunch of stuff and some guy groomed she would her and never, did that. She would never have a phone. Yeah. I'm gonna be the most psycho parent. I just know it. I freaking it's have you know. watched have you watched um Quiet on Set? Yes. I, I haven't I seen it yet. I didn't grow up watching TV, so I don't I yeah. But Christian relates to it a lot. He's like, I used to watch that and this and this. I just found out Ariana Grande was on Nickelodeon and had her own yeah. show. I'm like, I yeah. had no idea. I thought she just came out of nowhere. I know Joe thought she was on Disney Channel. I was like, no, she's a Nick girl. But like, I, I haven't watched Quiet On Sight yet, but y'all have. And like, I like know a little bit about it because like I see social media constantly. Mm-hmm. Like I watch the news and I read articles about everything. I'm a big Googler. I Google everything. Yeah. I like to know as much as I can about every situation. Yeah. I feel like you're the same. Like you like to look at the facts. Yeah. You know, yeah. And, and Quiet On Set, they, I mean, they pull out the facts. You're like, it's just kind of crazy. And then Dan is like now making YouTube videos, like trying to deny it all. There's a new episode coming out. I know. <gasps> somebody said Amanda, somebody said Amanda Bynes. Like, I think I saw that Amanda Bynes is gonna say something at some point. Well, I don't know if this is true, but what I saw was that the name of the episode is Breaking My Silence. So everyone's like, oh my God, it's Amanda Bynes. But that I wonder if it would be her or like uh, Dan, Jamie Lynn right? Spears. Could be Dan though too, right? Cause he was silent the whole time. But there's, Dan, but there's Dan, no way they would let him. No, because it's literally blowing up his spot. I can't see Dan them la- allowing Dan on there. I could see Jamie Lynn Spears. I could see Jamie Lynn. I don't Jamie think Amanda Bynes. Cl- Wait, oh yeah, she was on there too, huh? Jamie Lynn. Wow. Zoe 101. Zoe 101. I had a house key. I did too. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> what? I had a house key? She, and <sighs> Zoe 101, she has her like, I, it's like a key. It's like a yeah, her. It's the key to her dorm room. But she wears it on like a uh, necklace. necklace. And I did that with my house. So like key. easy access to get into your house. I, it was just a thing. fashion statement, but it was cute. Like, you know how you go to Home Depot and you can get like the cute seat. It was like a pink polka dotted key. Mine was white and sparkly. Mine was pink and polka dots. But yeah, cute. I wore okay, it. Okay, I gotta see this. Was this like a fashion I'm thing? gonna make you one. Yeah. <laughs> make me one. I'm gonna make you one. To the Bunny headquarters. Yeah. <laughs> um, um, are we getting into questions? Yeah, we can get into some questions. Speaking of OnlyFans. Oh God. How do you feel about, okay, we're guys, we're hopping in the questions. We've got a lot. I know we've been, this is gonna be a long podcast, but it's fun. We're You're chilling. welcome. We've been gone for two weeks. Yeah, we're making up for it. How do you feel about OnlyFans? What impacts do you think it's going to have on women and how they are portrayed? It's mm. a good one. I'm a very live and let live person. I personally would never do it. 
That's just my personal thing. Yeah. I think, you know, if you're going to do it, that's fine. Like, like live in it and like do it. But like, obviously like it does make me worried for like the younger generation and being like, Oh, like that's the, it's not easy, but it's like, that's the way out. And like, they're like, Oh, I can always just result to only fans to like make my money and make my career. But like, that's only going to last so long. If that makes sense. Mm -hmm. I worry about people's kids. Because, yeah. like, girls are starting OnlyFans when they're 18 years old, 20 years old, and it's, like, at some point you're going to be a mom. Yeah, there was just a kid that I, a girl, like, I had seen her for years. Like, I've known her since she was 14 years old. And she just created an OnlyFans account. She just turned 18. And I'm just, like, <sighs> crazy. And, like, I've seen her in pageants and everything. I'm just, like, whoa. But I'm also very cautious of, like, shaming people. No, like, if you're going to get your bag, get your bag. Yeah. Like, do it. Like, go off, sis. But, yeah. like, I do worry for, like, the younger girl's like that are getting into it because it's like the like at 18 I'm like you're still a baby like you're a child yeah. yeah I mean if one of my friends came to me and was like I'm gonna start an OnlyFans I might be like okay let's like let's make a pros let's and cons pros list and cons. yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think with that I'm the same way I'm like get your bag however you want to do it I will always support people um especially that you know the pro is it they're not in a strip club. Yeah. They have yeah. no, no men can touch them, harass them, whatever, right? Um, and I'm like, whatever someone wants to do for work, as long as you genuinely enjoy it, you're passionate yeah. about it, do your thing. However, I always think on the other side where it's like, I guess the reason that I personally wouldn't do it, let's say, like I will never do an OnlyFans because one, I want kids one day and I don't want them to see that. I don't want them to see that or ever come across a video or a photo in a very provocative, provocative thing. I don't want them seeing screenshots of conversations of me with men or like yeah. anything mm -hmm. like that, where it's like, it just takes one screenshot. And it's like, mom, this is how you spoke to this person. Right. Yeah. yeah. That's my personal reason why I would never do one. Um, a second reason is I just feel like, women are beautiful yeah like let's just say women are beautiful i mean a naked guy is like eh. <laughs> ugly <laughs> nobody, I, wants, nobody wants to see that i don't want to see that <laughs> that was so iconic <laughs> i was gonna say like they like they i mean like bad max you know, is hot there. i was gonna say max is hot but like i don't want to see a naked man like we're not like like if i see it like when we went on a nude beach and we saw i saw a naked man i was like ah yeah, but you'd see a girl and be like, damn, she wears hard. Like, she I'm like, her, yeah. her butt looks great. Like, yeah. her, her boobs are amazing. Yeah. Like, women are just beautiful. Yeah. You know? And, but women are also fucking creative. And they have so much more than just their looks. Yeah. And I love seeing women showcase that. Mm -hmm. And, like, their business or their craft or what they're passionate about. And helping other women realize that. So again, that's like my own personal thing. And then another Me reason too. was, I guess it's just like old school vibes, right? I was grown up very traditional. Traditional. Um, you know, the Bible. It says like your body is God's temple and yeah. this and that. And you're not supposed to I mean, I mean it also says you're supposed to like be a virgin when you get married. I was not. <laughs> Just gonna be honest. I had a purity ring at one point. <laughs> I did, did too. You really? Yeah, I did too. I did uh, too. No, I think I don't know if I had a ring or a necklace or something, but yeah. But then you know, eventually I, I lost it somewhere. Shit happens. Yeah, it happens. You know, and um, but but at the same time, it's like it's not like I have a big track record or anything like right. that. Which yeah. I mean, whether you do or you don't doesn't matter. But I I just I didn't want like photos of me or videos of me or sharing myself with a bunch of different guys. It's like you can still keep yourself sacred for your husband. Um, so yeah, that, those are just like reasons. But like, I mean, I know people that do, I have friends that do, and I'm like, hey, if this makes you happy and this fulfills your life, you do that. But those are my personal reasons why I wouldn't, if that makes sense. A hundred percent. A thousand yeah. percent. A thousand percent. Okay, I don't know if I want to ask this. There's some- Ask it. There's juicy, we like juice. But it's not for us, it's for you. Oh, oh. shit. Do it. Wait, can I see it? I don't know if I want to ask that. It's so personal because I don't think I could answer that if it was like a question. Is it? Like it's not sexual. A, kind. Of. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Go ahead. Okay. It. Is CG a grower? Because he's definitely not a shower. <laughs> Wait. What? <laughs> I was not expecting that. I was expecting some deep ass question. Uh. Yeah. He's a grower. Okay. 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 Moving on. <laughs> 
a lot of a lot of growth. I started sweating. <laughs> I didn't even finish the question. I was like, we were talking, and I was like over here reading, and I was like sweating bullets. I'm I like, can't oh, wait God. to show There's, him that. Well, there That's, was one. Sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt. No, you. no, no, no. no that, this is, that was my favorite question probably of the day. Um, I can't wait to tell him that people think that he's not a shower. <laughs> he's gonna be devastated. Poor guy. <laughs> he will be. Poor no, guy. He says it all the time. He's like, I'm. He's like, make sure that people know that I am a grower, not a shower. And I'm like, who am I gonna have this conversation we're, with? But we are here. We're here. here, about we're here. <laughs> um, secrets girls don't tell you, no? Yeah. Uh, did Instagram finally let you change your last name? No. Dang I, it. Instagram like wants to keep me as a Summers. I, I applied like weeks ago. I wonder why that is. I don't know. You should secure How yours rude. now. <laughs> I know I need to. Changes is tuning already. Um, if you lost everything, Business wise, where would you start now? It's a good question. That's a great question. That is a good question. Um, you know, me and Christian always joke, like, <clears throat> I mean, not always, but we'll be like, if we lost it all, we'd be happy. Even like before we got engaged, all of that, I would always make a joke, like, if we lost everything, we lived on the streets, I was like, we'd build a fucking sick ass box for a home. That, that's what we would do, first of all. But second of all, it's like, we're so driven and we love what we do. Like we, I feel like we would be able to rebuild. Y'all are both creative. Yeah. So like, so creative business wise, artistically. Yeah. Like if I lost everything, knock on wood, oh my God. Um, I feel like I would be a creative director for another brand. I agree. I, I could see, see you working for that. Skims. Oh, I could <gasps> see that. She's like, see, uh, <gasps> no, no, <laughs> She's like actually, Kardashian. you know who I would love to work with. And it's funny because I, I just recently started watching this person. I would see behind the scenes of certain things and I was like, oh, like she's pretty cool. But I wouldn't really get into it. Taylor Swift. Mm, I love Like her. I never really listened to her music too much besides like teardrops on the guitar, whatever. I would see some of her music video, mainly yeah. the behind the scenes of music videos. I was like, wow, her music videos are very storytelling. You know yeah. me, I love a storyteller. Yeah. And I'm like, so circle eras. Yeah, yeah. So storytelling. And then I just watched a little bit of Christian put the era or something on it. The era tour. I was like, oh, turn off, I have to wait. I have to wait to watch this with Taylor, <laughs> the other Taylor. But I was like, her concerts are storytelling. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I feel like I would like that. Cause Skims is cool, but they don't do that much storytelling, right? No. But they do like artsy creative stuff. Yeah. But I like brands like, like Rihanna and mm. Taylor Swift who actually, they do storytelling because it's mm -hmm. so much deeper than But I photo. feel like you could bring that to Skims. That's what they're missing. Honestly, yeah, you're right. They are missing that. They need a storyteller in there. Like they could, I agree. Because they could do so much more than just like pretty pictures. Yeah. Like I was pissed they did the whole pageant thing for swimsuits. And like, I'm like, you could have had all of like the stunning Miss USA's, Miss Universes, like that. all the women that could competed. Like, and like so diverse and it's very diverse. Like the women that compete in pageants, I was like, you could have gone like globally to do this. And like, you chose like cute girls that are models that like, she did a whole like pageant. Oh, she didn't use actual pageant girls. Yeah, I was like, you guys, yeah. you guys really missed the mark with that one. Cause that would have been, cause there's so many women that have like made history in pageants. Like Halle Berry was first runner up at Miss USA. Damn. I did not know that. Yeah, she lost and then she became Halle Berry. That's what, when I didn't wow. win, that's what somebody told me. They're like, Halle Berry was in Miss USA. And I was like, thank you. <laughs> this makes me feel better. <laughs> like I'm losing my mind. Um, okay. <sighs> what is your biggest regret in the terms of business and personal? Biggest regret in business. You know, it's, it's hard to answer that one only because I'm such a positive person. That mm -hmm. Whenever, I mean, I've had some fuck ups happen. When that happens, I'm always like, this is a lesson. And I was actually telling Christian, I was like, the other day, I was like, my team will like make little mess ups sometimes, right? Mm -hmm. I will try to correct it, fix it, I'm a problem solver. And then I create an SOP so it doesn't happen again. So a lot of the mistakes that happen, cause you're never gonna not make mistakes. You're, yeah. Like I'm gonna make mistakes, my team's gonna make, make, make mistakes. Um, but it is like learning from them, right? Um, I don't know if I really, I'm trying to, really think of something that I really regret. I can't imagine. A lot of them are just like good learning lessons. Cause like what I learned from that, I made way fucking better next time. So it's hard. Yeah. I'm gonna think on that. I'm sure I have quite a few. Mine was not saving for taxes. Oh, that's the worst. That yeah. was the worst, the biggest wake up call because my first like big year yeah, I just had no idea. Like I just, I did not that hurts. That hurts oh. your soul, right? I oh. was humbled so hard, Ooh. and I was just like, You're like wow. I'm falling, and like, wow, like that just like punched me in the face. <laughs> That's the worst feeling. Taxes. How to stay consistent? 
How to stay consistent with grounds on the week of your period. Wait, let's go back. I do know. Not that I regret this. Yes. But I, I do know what I, I, I guess like what I would do differently mm -hmm. in some aspects, right? In the past, I would hire people for my team and a lot of them were great, right? But I think even like in San Antonio and then first going to Houston and this and that, um, because I'm such an acts of service thing, I would teach people every position. So I wish I would have had a few more professionals earlier on. Mm -hmm. By the time I just didn't know how to find them. Yeah. Now it's like LinkedIn is a way to go. Yeah. <laughs> LinkedIn is a way to go. I told Max that. Yeah, LinkedIn is great. Um, it, just bring in a few more professionals to even things out. Cause I think at some point I had a lot of great people, but they just, none of them had experience. So I you was- You were hand holding. Hand holding every position, every single department, and it exhausted me. You were spreading yourself. So, that's like, oh, yeah. like when I think about those times that we said, like, were great years for you, you were thriving, but like you were spreading yourself so, so thin throughout the company that like they needed you in so many different areas that you're like, I can't yeah. give myself to everything. Exactly. So I had, um, but that's when like I brought on an exceptional director of ops, and she was like, okay, like for us to get to the next level, um, let's find people's strengths and things that maybe people weren't doing as well on. And, mm -hmm. But she would like kind of flip flop people around and then realize like, hey, this person, it, their KPIs aren't, because she started giving people goals, things like that. So I wish, she changed my life <laughs> like a lot. So I'm like, if I could have done things differently, I probably would have found at least one amazingly talented professional person at least bring in. That way like it helps you as a business owner. huh? I said she needs to talk to Ryan. Max, yeah. Max has been screaming it from the rooftops for him. Because Annabar only has four employees. Uh, are they are they, are they really good employees? <laughs> I mean, <laughs> yes, I, I don't. But I, like, they know, just, there's I just, just a lot of things that, like, I'll say it for you. There's just a lot of things. I don't want you to get scorned. There's a lot of things that, like, they are doing that they don't need to do that, like, they could hire somebody else to do for them that, like, he shouldn't have to be handling. Because, like, Ryan's mm. running every like not everything but like ryan's running a lot of the business and he's like has hands in so many pots where it's like yeah. that's great and like i love that for him but like he does need he's getting to that point where it's like you're spreading yourself too thin yeah he wears a lot of hats yeah so it's, you can only be one place yeah so like he what he says is like um it's like playing whack-a-mole 24 7 like i i fix Problem this, solve. i fix it and then another one. yeah yeah yeah, yeah. um what was the next question? Grounds question. Yeah. Oh yeah. When you're on your period, how do you stay motivated to do grounds while you're on your period? Mm. So it's hard because everyone's period is different, right? So um, I have girlies that don't get cramps at all. They like feel nothing. They're like, oh, I just some bleeding. I'm like, God, that'd be so nice. Mm -hmm. Then there's women that have like endometriosis. I have a denomiosis. So yeah. Yeah. I have, um, whenever I'm on my period, I get like, it's contractions. So at least I know what childbirth is going to oh, be like. No. So literally it's like contractions to where I have to like hold my breath or it's it's almost like, I don't know how to describe it. But when I went to my doctor and she did all the tests to figure it out, she's like, oh yeah, you have adenomyosis. And I was like, all right, how do I fix it? She's like, you got to take everything out. Hysterectomy. And I was like, well, I want kids. So she's like, well, have your kids. And if it gets to a point where you can't control the pain, because I'll take like, I probably take way too much Tylenol. She's like, the next step is you could take like pain medication but yeah I, like, I don't want to get to that point so I, I have like my little systems like yeah. actually when I was getting my wedding hair done I was like I can't reschedule I was in the most excruciating pain Bailey my poor hairstylist I was like I had to like Walgreens all these patches I was putting all over my stomach took tons of Tylenol um because it's crippling it's crippling and but I was like I got it this I is the feel last like day it, get my it needs to be done. talked about more because I feel like so many women like it. Ha it's so common, but yeah. women don't know and like are going like through it and like don't realize how many other people are going through it. And I feel like so bad. Like yeah. I feel like in, like women's health in that way needs to be talked about a lot more. Well, and not even yes. only that because I have endometriosis and yeah, we're cousins. <laughs> and, we're cousins. But like you go like, I feel like advocating for yourself at the gynecologist is so hard. Yeah, it's so, like. I can't tell you how many times that they've told me like nothing's wrong. And, and then I finally actually switched to a man and he listened and I was like, thank you. Wow, opposite hat yeah. to me. It was a guy. I don't know why I had a guy actually. I mean, there's nothing wrong with a guy one, but I had a um, a guy and I would I would ask him questions and this and that. And he would just, and it's not because he was a guy. He was just like, 
oh, you're fine, you're fine, you're fine, nothing's wrong, and this and that. And I was like, Should I, do I need to freeze my eggs? What Asking questions, just kind of brushing everything off. And then I went to a woman, and like my first appointment, she was like, this is not normal, we're doing testing. And she's like, give it to you, meiosis. And I was like, what does that mean? I was yeah. like, can I still have kids? Yeah. Um, she's like, yeah, you just have like the worst cramps out of anyone. I was like, dang. It's You're horrible. like, only me. Only yeah. me. <laughs> but I'll take like my baths and then I put like the heating patches on. I have like little routines and stuff. But you need to um, make a video about what your routine is. Because there's, should. there's probably right. so many women that like were like, okay, well, like how, like, because they probably don't want to go in the route like having to do a hysterectomy or like having to yeah. use like heavy painkillers. Like if you have like things at work, like I feel like that would be like a great, especially like women's health. Like that's a big that's thing. That's a great, yeah. Yeah. You know what? I'm gonna do that I get because you I do get I a lot of content. questions on that. Yeah. yeah, I was like, that's good because uh, what Sydney said though is advocating for yourself yeah. mm-hmm. is so important because a lot of us, you know, we, we assume um, like bloating's normal, really severe cramps is normal, when really it's not normal. There's no. probably something underlying yeah. going on there. Mm-hmm. And it's like figuring that out is like such a better way of living, Yeah, a better life, <laughs> I guess. Quality of life. Yeah. Quality yeah. of life. That's what yeah. I was like, a better quality of life. Like nothing beats that. You should put um, it in the app. Oh. Like have it somewhere. Do you I have should, like period good. workouts? So we're working on something. I don't okay. want to say okay. yeah. yeah. I don't want to <laughs> say yeah because it's a really good idea and I don't want anyone to to do Steal it before it. me. Yeah. yeah. I was Fair like, in case there's competitors no, she's, watching. She's crushing it. Yeah, but we, right now we have a period tracker and it's very simple. It's like, hey, here's, I but it, it does tell you, yeah, it's great. It tells you when your period's coming. It catches everything. You know everything. what phases you're in. Cause a lot of women also don't know that you have four phases. Yeah. Right. So it's like, they're just like, when do I get pregnant? When am I getting my period? But it's like, oh, it's nice to know like what phase you are. Mm-hmm. I like for. it too, because it, it tracks my ovulation and like a lot of the other apps I've used that track my ovulation. Um, it like is always like three, it's only three days where it's like, it's not three days. Like it's actually a lot longer. And so your yeah. app actually has like the right amount of time. And I like even tested it cause I bought one of the like ovulation sticks that you like pee on to see if you're ovulating just to see if like, oh, if it's accurate. Cause I want to know, cause I want to track all of that stuff in it. Cause mm-hmm. it's just a better way to like, w- like cycle w- sync like when you're working out and like certain workouts that you should do like during each cycle to like feel your best and like that are good for your body. That's that was another good idea. Yeah, like yeah. I went through I went through a whole thing on TikTok about cycle syncing. I love it. I do it for like my clients. everything that I eat, like drink everything, like what I'm yes. using, everything I put in my body, like all of that. So I like checked and like it's like super accurate. Like it's so on point. It's insane. Yeah. Well, and and the it, longer you track, the more accurate. Yeah, exactly. The longer you track, the more it, it gets to know you. Um, but for me, that was so important to have on the app because. I guess someone that has adenomyosis, endometriosis, and even if you just you get your period, you know, it's yeah. like, it's nice to know when it's coming. coming. So you can be like, cool, I'm gonna, like, for example, I'm like, okay, I'm gonna do legs today. And then the thing's like, oh, you get your period tomorrow. It's like, cool, I'm gonna do legs today so I can chill tomorrow. So like yep. little things like that, where it's nice to know those things. Um, and you're not so stressed all the time. Well, one of my yeah. favorite things in tracking my cycle is, um, cause I get really anxious and almost like borderline depressed when I'm mm-hmm. PMSing. It's very recent, and um, I'll be like, "What the heck is going on with me?" And then I'm like, "Ah, Hormones. okay, I'm not crazy." Like, yeah. yeah, you almost feel like a shell of a human. Yes, yeah. Brian's like, "What's going that's on how with I, you?" That's how I was at Heidi's wedding. Well, I like thought I was pregnant at your wedding. I told you this. No, oh yeah, I did. I came up to you because I was like, I was like, Max was talking to you, and I was, and like, I was hey, like, "Hey, Max, yay. I was like, can I have the key?" Because like I was like five days late for my period, and I was losing my shit, and I was like, "What the hell?" And like I was really anxious like the entire weekend that we were in the Caymans and I was just having a lot of anxiety and like social anxiety and like I mean it was a lot it was a lot going on but like I had a lot of social anxiety and I was obviously stressed because like I was officiating the whole thing and yeah I just wanted to make sure it was all good and like I just something was off and I like was like oh shit like I haven't like I like realized like I hadn't gotten my period and like looked at my app and I was like oh I'm five days late and I was freaking out and um I like going to the Caymans. I like, like after, like after I like literally finished officiating and I went to the reception and I like sat down, like I started cramping and I was like, so being your officiant stressed <laughs> me out that much that I- Like immediately after your body was like, I mean, that we're is good. Like, that's a, I mean, that's a big deal. That's a big deal. That's yeah. a big deal. Yeah, it is. You did great. You Thanks. did so but I f- good. I fully thought I was pregnant. I was like, oh man. You're like, I'm officiating this, we- this wedding as a pregnant woman. I love it. <laughs> It's always when you think that you're pregnant, at least in my experience, that I'm like convinced. I'm like, I am absolutely without a doubt pregnant that you're like, 
okay, I'm actually not. So whenever I'm like, ah, I'm, I'm probably not. But I that's why I thought be. I had so much anxiety. I was like, oh, that makes sense. PMSing, yeah. yeah. I had so much. Okay, somebody wants to know your biggest, like what's the biggest ick for you? And then what's Christian's biggest ick that you're okay with? Ooh, okay. I think I, an ick that I don't like is people that lie. Yeah. I, that's just my biggest ick. Because if someone lies to you're me like, once, mm. I have a hard time believing them again. Mm -hmm. I like, I see your colors. Yeah, yeah. Or I even if it's you. like a silly lie, then like, I'm like, and that goes for like personal employees. It just goes for like, you're like, just everyone. tell me the truth. Like, I would yeah. hand, I, I can handle it. Yeah, that's what I was like. Like, I, I love Taylor. Taylor would give it to me straight. Yeah, right? that's my favorite thing. And it's like, but I love people like that. And then um, actually, like, you are like that. Mona's like that. And uh, Sarah Sarati's like yeah. that. Christian's like, you really gravitate towards, but then I have like my sweet friends. Right, Who are it's too like you nice. have balance, yeah. Because like I was like, I feel like I'm a bit of both, right? It's like I balance both of these things, but um, but the sweet people are also can be like very straight up, yeah, right? yeah. But the people that are or like Jessica too. So Jessica like I have a lot of friends that are like, up. <laughs> like there is she will not sugarcoat anything. She will just give it to you. Just give I'm it to nice, you straight. and Jessica's like, no, let me tell you how this is gonna be. Yeah, yeah. Ooh, Ooh, baby. Like she'll be on her phone. Like I'd be like, Jessica, what do you think of this outfit? She's like, it's hideous. You need to change. And I'm like. <laughs> but I love that. Like I love people like she that is. because I will always believe her. You I, know, I know that yeah. she will always give it to me straight. She will not sugarcoat anything. Taylor will be like, she doesn't have to say anything. She'll just look at me and be like, and I'm like, you don't, you don't like. She the knows, She's like, you can do better. She yeah. knows the heavy <laughs> breathing is coming in for me to say something, unless I really don't like something, then I'll really say it. Yeah, yeah. It depends for me. Like with my sister, I can. I'm just like mean. But with other people, I'm like. No. I'm, I say this in the nicest way possible. Yeah, like, <laughs> yeah. I think there's different ways to communicate with people, right? So like my employees, for example, I'll have one or two people, like the more, I, I realize like the creatives are usually a little bit more sensitive. Mm -hmm. So I approach it in a positive way. Yeah. I'm like, like they show me something, right? They present something. I'm like, I love the colors on this. Like this is like a really cool area, blah, blah. blah. I think we can do some work on this positivity sandwich where it's like, cause I mean, People work really hard on yeah. whatever and it's like you want to like show like hey like this is not complete shit <laughs> there's some really good things here but there's some things that we want to improve on um where i have some people like beverly my designer yeah. like we just give it to it straight like i'll be like she'll be like what do you think this i'm like that's a terrible design we're not doing that you're we'll like never yeah. do that that is horrendous. Yeah. Like the other day she was trying to convince me. She was like, you need to do capris. And I was like. It's a big thing. I know. But I was like. But I it's, will... it's going to be a trend for a split second this summer. And that's it. And then it's gone. And then it's gone. So I was like. I almost you know bought what? a capri outfit. No. I'm not going to do like it. Like capri leggings? Capri leggings. I'm I'm just going to level with you guys. I wore capri leggings like two days ago, but I can't do it. It was only I didn't. It's trendy. It's, I don't. It's I trendy. like longer leggings. It was actually my first pair of Lululemons ever, and I need. I was in the middle of doing laundry. And I was, I'm I like, I don't want anybody looking at my ankles. Yeah, and yeah, like I'm like I'm gonna have to shave my legs. I'd rather even wear short, show my whole legs. But situations like that, I'm like, nah. And I was like, but but I'll tell her I'm like develop it, have people vote. And see what they think. So then we did, and eighty percent of people, I think, said no. So yeah, I was like, yeah, it's, not worth it's it. gonna be like, it's more of like a fashion trend rather than like an active wear trend. I don't. Yeah, see it for, I, I see don't that. See, I don't see it as like an active wear thing. Yeah, but I see it as like because there was an alpha that I almost bought that was so cute on Revolve, and I was like, oh my god, this would be so cute for like something, because you know me. Um, mm -hmm. I bet there's some really cute capris out there. No, there like are. For fashion. There was a really cute outfit on Revolve, and I was like, oh my God, that's so cute. But it was like super like 1950s, like it's adorable, and like had a little vest top with it. It was like a set. And I was like, oh, that's so cute. But then I was like, you know, I don't want to wear that. And then like literally, I said that I wasn't going to fall into trends this year. And literally, like a, a, a five months later, it's people are like, I can't believe you wore that. <laughs> And I don't want to be that person. Chuggy. That's the term that you told me, yeah, right? That's chuggy. She's chuggy. Okay, so what's Christian's ick? What is, mm. What's an ick that Christian does? Let me think. <laughs> what's yours? For Ryan? Oh, tell me, Sid. What's Ryan's ick? He's going to kill me. <laughs> Ryan doesn't clip his toenails with <gasps> fingernail clippers. Neither does Max. <gasps> he that was mine. He that was mine. They, oh, I thought all men do that. No, that's they absolutely repulsive. He did it like two nights ago. We were on the couch and <sighs> I could hear him click, click. And I literally was like, oh, I think, I think all men do that. I'm like, Max I literally it, have toenail clippers. Sick to my stomach. I'm like, go get a pedicure. But that's like, that's why Max has such bad ingrown toenails. 
because he won't oh, cut his. He doesn't. He he doesn't cut them like with a clipper. He cuts them with his. He rips them off. He oh, does. he can't do that with his whole situation. Yeah, he's got, he's got bad does feet. Does Christian do that? Yes. What is it, what, what's what's your ick for him? Oh, I, I had it. What was it? Um, it's not really like an ick. I think all guys do this too. But he'll go to the bathroom for like thirty minutes. Max isn't like that. What? It's like 30 minutes, he sometimes longer. And I'm like, he brings his phone in there, his Game Boy, his iPad. I'm like, just <laughs> not the iPad. <laughs> not the I I was like, you're really bringing the iPad this time. You're like, that's so unsanitary. So unsanitary. What I have learned is that, at least because I asked Ryan, and he said that he's like, I'm not even like using the restroom. It's just like, I'm, I'm just like, sitting like in the morning, he'll get up and like he goes in there and I go out and like make sure the like kitchen's clean and like I do the morning stuff. And I almost cussed. <laughs> and oh, can we cuss on here? I think yeah. I cussed. Yeah. I've been cussing a few times. I'm just trying. <laughs> somebody um, said. Somebody commented on Max's thing. I was like, oh my gosh, Miss Texas, like cusses like a sailor. I'm like, hey, I'm not Miss Texas anymore. Let me. Yeah, live. you yeah. can live your life. Um, okay, would you ever sign for reality TV? No. Uh, no, actually, I almost I got offered one time, and I kind of said no. So it was like. I think like my ex boyfriend's brother did like knew some producer. I don't know. It was like some fitness show, yeah. right? They like came to me. They're like, "Hey, do you want to do a, a fitness show?" They didn't really tell me too much about it, right? And I was like, "I mean, that sounds fun. It's it's competition. Yeah, that sounds cool." And so I did like the the interview. Yeah. Like the Zoom interview, and they're like, "Cool, we're gonna fly out to LA. Do like they do like a you stay in your hotel room and you can only leave during certain hours and like had to do like psychology tests, all this stuff, right? Then they're like, "Go to room two thirteen. It's like." freaking lights, camera, action, assistants, producers everywhere. And I was like, and they're like, oh, we love like your whole internet persona, like buff bunny, like, you know, you're buff yeah. and you get muscles and you work out. <laughs> and I was like, yeah. So he was like, <laughs> I'll never forget. I was like, I don't think this is for me. He was like, what will you do in order to win? And I was like, oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna coach my team. Like, <laughs> we're gonna, we're gonna be able to like get through anything. He was like, if your teammate is on the ground and if they don't get up, you're gonna lose. What are you gonna say to them? I was like, oh, I'm gonna give her some words of encouragement. He was, like, <laughs> he was like, he was like, you're not gonna throw tables and cuss. And at the time, I didn't cuss at all. She's like, and I was like, oh no, I don't. Dang cuss. it! I was like, and, <laughs> I, and I don't throw tables. And he was like. <laughs> Okay, he was like, all right, well, are you gonna flirt with the contestants to get your way? Are you gonna start flirting with the guys to, you know? And I was like, I have a boyfriend, so no. And he was like, okay. And then at that moment I was like, they want me to like throw shit and like, like, this is not me. Flirt. I was like, this is just not me. And I don't need 15 minutes of fame to like, yeah, not be, it's not me. So yeah. um, that's when, like when I left the room, I was like, hey, I just don't think this is a good fit. It was a cool experience, though, to, like, go through the, you know, interview the process. process. But, nah, not worth it. Somebody says, would it be weird to send Buff Bunny macaroons to somebody I know? LOL. Not trying to be a stalker over here. You're so, not. send him what? Macaroons. I love she, macaroons. She makes amazing macaroons. Yeah, but I think those have nuts in them, right? Like, almond no, flour or something? They don't have to be almond flour. She can probably do As them. long as they're nut free. As long as they're nut free. Yeah. Then she says, and just tell her it's been inspiring to watch her from packing orders in her apartment to now. That's so What's her name? She owns, she's doing my cake for the wedding. <gasps> yeah. Oh, so she's like, good, good. She yes. Did, she makes some of the best. Send me those desserts. macaroons, girl. <laughs> she makes the best desserts. Okay. Um, oh, Lord. Okay. Um, who would play you in a movie version of your life? <laughs> uh, I don't think anyone would make a movie of my life. If they did, I don't know. What who do you would? Think? For you? Yeah. <laughs> I'm trying to think. Um, um, like a blonde, like cutesy blonde. I would say like Reese Witherspoon, like back <gasps> in the day. I love Reese like Witherspoon. Reese Witherspoon, like when she was legally blonde, like Elle Woods. I would <gasps> be like, she would be a great you. Yes. Um, She's like, what? Like it's hard? Yeah. Like a business? <laughs> yeah. Like I feel like she would have been like a She was iconic. Yeah, that's she good. would have been a great you. Um. Why can't I think of any blonde actresses? I don't really know actors and actresses that well. That or like, I think like just back in the day, like Kate Hudson would have been crushed. Oh, probably. I love Kate. No, that'd be you. Me? Yeah, she doesn't even look she's like blonde. me. I know she doesn't look like she you. Blue eyes. Um, Color contacts. For me, I think would be like Gal Gadot or oh, uh, yeah. Mila Kunis. Oh, Gal Gadot. Oh, I could see Mila, yeah. 
Mila too, but I see Gal Gadot. I don't know who that is. What's she in? Wonder Super Woman. Wo- or Wo- Wonder Woman. Oh, yeah. She was Miss Israel. I never saw it. Um, Sydney. I don't even know for me. <laughs> uh, no idea. Jennifer Lawrence. <gasps> I'll take yes. that. As She's long as like she didn't break up. sweet and a little sass. A little sassy. J Law. Sweet and spicy. What's, what's the um, interview where she's like, She's hey, like, I want to go home if I don't yeah, win. Yeah, I came here to win, so there's that. There's that. If <laughs> Wait, I don't what? want, I'm leaving. <laughs> yeah. It was like for the Oscars, and she's like, Yeah, if I don't want, I'm leaving. So. <laughs> well, Silver Linings Playbook is one of my, like, Ryan and I's favorite movies. Yeah, it's such a good movie. Which was it? Silver, Silver Linings, Linings Playbook? I yeah. don't think I've seen that. That's Bradley Cooper. Um, okay, and Jennifer that. Lawrence. Yeah. Yeah. Who would be Christian? <laughs> oh, what's his name? It's so funny because when we ever talked about, I think we talked about gym crushes one time. Actually, Max got me in trouble this this one time because Max was like, "Oh, I think he was talking about like good looking fitness influencers that were guys, yeah. right?" And I think Max was like, "Oh, Steve Cook's that's like, his he's favorite up there." And that's I was his, like, "That is." His, he, I was like, "Why don't you marry crush. Steve Cook then?" And I was like, "I think Steve's." You know, not bad looking, but he's just like an all American guy. Yeah. Like I think that like he's 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 a good looking guy. I was like, but um I think we were just like talking something and then he was like, Well, who do you think's good looking? And I was like, and it looks like Christian how Christian's gonna look like when he's older is oh my god, what's his name? I can't think. What is um I have no Mark idea. Consuelos. Yes. He's so, in Spy Kids, yeah? Is that no, him? that's Antonio Banderas. He's also he's also up there. I, he's very handsome. Yeah. Um, I feel like he could play, well, no, he has, I feel like Antonio Banderas is like Hispanic. He has an accent. He can speak Spanish. Christian can't. I would say maybe, maybe <laughs> Mark Consuelos. But okay, I was like, yeah. Mark Consuelos is good looking. Christian's like, what? He's like, that's your celebrity crush? I'm like, he's literally married. He's not my crush. I just think he's a very good looking actor. But yeah. that would be great. Yeah, oh my God, him and his wife are you and Christian. Oh, I know. I was like, yeah, I love his wife, Kelly um, Ripa. She is so cute, oh so God. fun. Kelly Ripa, she's like the cutest little blonde thing, yeah. like Heidi. Um, they're so cute. Oh, he okay, looks like okay, Christian, right? Yes, You're yes. telling me this isn't Christian and Heidi? Zoom in on that. Zoom in on that. That's Christian and Heidi. Yeah, in a couple so of years, like at my wedding. Okay, yeah. You know, you know what I can't get over is um, the gentleman. Love him. He looks just like David. No, he does not. Yes, he does. Yes, he does. And I'm going to tell you what. When David, when Max had David on Don't Be Sour, I accidentally clicked on it because like. You he, accidentally clicked no, it? No, okay, I'm, I'm a level with you. I didn't yeah. watch it. Yeah. And um, It's very manly. But I went to YouTube to click on our podcast and I accidentally clicked on that. And the first comment that came up was, this dude looks like Theo James. And Theo James is just one of my favorite actors. He was in... Um, my one of my favorite movies growing up with um, Divergent. Divergent. Yep. Mm-hmm. I when I tell you I loved the book series. I loved that movie growing up. Like I loved it. That's why I love Theo James. Well, Ryan said it too when we were watching it. He was like, he looks like David. David's like a shorter, more like jacked version. Well, yeah, but just like it, like when they're if they were just like standing next to each other, they could be brothers. Probably. Yeah. Yeah. Look yeah. Related. They yeah. do look related. I'll say that. I'll give it that. I'll I'll meet at that. Okay. Who would play Ryan? Are we okay? Um, he gets it a lot. Who's Hellboy? What's his name? I haven't seen that. Let me Google. Let me Google. And he's also in Sons of Anarchy. Mm. I've never seen Sons of An- Anarchy. You'll I've seen Sons of, Sons of Anarchy, but not Ron. In a while. Ron Perlman. Perlman. People have literally DM'd him and been like, "Yo, are you related to Ron Perlman?" No. Um, that and I've also thought in fit- the fitness world that. Not that they look exactly alike, but I think Jay Cutler and Ryan have like resemblances. Mm, mm-hmm. You yeah. see that? Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, 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 yeah. I see that. Yes. Yeah, because yes. I met Jay Cutler at a bodybuilding show and he, have you met him? Yes. He's so nice. the nicest person. He seems like a sweet guy. The nicest, kindest human. But he's I was like, like Ryan, he's big teddy bear. Yeah. Like self aware too. Yeah. Max Very would cool. be Patrick Dempsey. Who's Patrick Dempsey? Is that Grey's Anatomy? Dude, <gasps> wait, no. Max interviewed someone because I was showing Victoria Villa. Um, she was like, "Oh my gosh, my um, my husband." Ah, she says husband now. She's like, "My husband loves Max's podcast. Like he yeah. watches it and he laughs." And so I was like, "Oh, has he seen his like funny?" I don't think he does this anymore. Dane Cook. He's a dude again. No, no, no. So I was showing the Instagram how it's like fake answers to everything. I was we were laughing so hard we were crying. We weren't actually crying, but we were laughing really hard. <laughs> <laughs> and then. 
there was a guy that Max interviewed. I was like, is that McDreamy? And I clicked on it. Oh, yes. I um, thought he actually interviewed McDreamy. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Um, I don't know who it was, but it looked just like him. Alpha M, um, Aaron Marino. Aaron's so sweet. Don't say that because Max says that all the time. Max, because I'm like, Max, you kind of remind me of Patrick Dempsey. And Max is like, no, that's Aaron Marino. And I'm like, yes, but like, no, like not to me. Like, I don't see him as that. I don't know. Like, nobody looks like Max. Besides Patrick I Dempsey feel like he kind of looks like Jim Carrey way back in the day, a little bit, but maybe like it's because of humor. That yeah. and he does the. Oh, face. Yeah. yeah, that could be it. Yeah, that's the like, Jim Carrey face. Um, okay, let's get through this, guys. We've, we're over two hours. Are we really? Oh what? My no God. way. I think so, maybe. But we did take a break. We did take a break. Um, <laughs> Find just a couple more juicy ones. Yeah, some juice. We need some juice. I feel like nobody went like too juicy woosy. Okay, how do you manage being masculine versus feminine in your relationship versus ha- with how successful you are? Hmm. Well, it's funny because the word Buff Bunny for Buff Bunny Collection is kind of a balance of both, right? Mm-hmm. So, you know, when whenever I named the, used the, or created the name way back in the day, to me, I was like, okay, buff is kind of like this alpha female vibe. It's like, that's me going to the gym, throwing the weights around and having that like beautiful strong side. And then bunny was kind of like keeping in touch with like that feminine soft um, energy in my life. So it's like, you can have both, you Mm -hmm. know, like I I love going, throwing some weight around and I might do it while wearing hot pink. You I know, love like you. having like, that balance. I'm wearing bossy print. Yeah, I was like, I'm gonna wear my pink bossy print and throw my weights around. Um, in a relationship, I think that you, I mean, honestly, it's like communicating and just, just being like, hey, not like what is your ideal partner, but like what, what is kind of like the roles that you like. Mm-hmm. Like me, for example, I'm like, okay, I will be alpha female all day, but I don't want to take the trash out. Yeah, mm-hmm. I will if I have to, but like, I'm like, take the trash out. That, that's just like the way I grew up. It's like girls don't take the trash. I mean, we still take the trash out. We will, but I try to avoid it. Yeah. It's like little things like yeah. that where I'm like, oh, I'm a girl. I don't kill the bug. I'm just a girl. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just a girl. Yeah, or things where I'm like, I prefer him to drive. Like I will. Like I'm like, oh, if you need me to drive, like let me know. And, like, and he prefers driving. Um, but when it comes to traveling, he is passenger princess all the way. Yeah. I am the alpha. I'm the planner. I'm like, I will check us in. I got our bag tags. I run the show. Everything's done, yeah. Otherwise, we will never get there. <laughs> and if we get there, we're probably going to end up in like Indonesia or somewhere India. that you're not supposed to be. You're on the wrong not flight Florida. entirely. Yeah. I'm like, so he's a mess. He's like, I thought we were going to Indiana. <laughs> <laughs> he would do that. I'm like, hey, we're going to Indiana. He books it to India. He would yeah, do something like he would that. He do something like that. Okay. What are the three most important values you guys live by daily? I think my favorite one. And I feel like it's been coming up a lot just in like business and personal and like all of that is just my number one is honesty. Mm-hmm. And I know because that's my ick too. It's like I don't like it when people lie. Um, I love to be honest in everything that I do, whether it's friendship, whether it's work. It's like even if it's a hard truth, just to say the truth. Mm-hmm. Um, I do the same things like my brands. Like I'm all about honesty. And like I, I tell my customers, you know, like, hey, if I if I don't think this is like up to quality, up to standard, I'll pull the item. Or um, if a if an influencer asks me like, hey, how am I doing with my sales or something like that? I'm not gonna be like, you're doing amazing. If they're not doing amazing, I'm like, hey, I think that these are positivity sandwich, right? I'm like, I think that these are things that you do really well at and they, these are things that could help you grow. Um, and then even like personal life, right? Like if me and Christian have like a one-to-one, we're like, hey, how's our relationship? What are things that you want to improve on? What are things that I want to see improvements on? It's like not being afraid to just speak your truth. Yeah. You know, so like that's probably my favorite. I love that. Um, I don't know. The other two is just being, what is the word? Um, intentional with things. Yeah. Love that. I love that word. And just, you know, if you go on a walk being intentional. So I try to like leave my phone and like be grounded with the way that I walk. I went like on a, a spiritual walk with like a a longtime friend of mine. And um, he was like, I like the way that you walk. You walk with intent. And I was like, what does that mean? He goes like on all these like spiritual walks. And he was just like, you just walk, you're very grounded when you walk. Like you, you look at each step and you really like think about like where you're at, your surroundings. Mm -hmm. And then my little sister, um, she's 
she's like, she loves therapy. I love therapy too, but she's kind of like, oh, whenever she's like, you need to go one more spiritual walks and you need to like count the things that you hear around you. Yeah. It makes you very in tune with like where you're being present. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So she's like, okay, car. Okay. I hear water. Okay. I hear a bird. Okay. I hear kids playing. It's like really being aware of your surroundings. Um, so what that was honesty, intent and kindness I think mm -hmm. I love like just like sprinkling kindness I try to like leave kindness wherever I go like I'm passing by a girl I like her outfit I'm like you look good I like that outfit or if I see a girl taking a selfie I'm like you get that selfie girl I just do whatever I can to kind of like boost someone up a little bit you're everyone's biggest hype woman yeah I love hyping people up you know it just like makes me feel so good because I know how it makes me feel like if mm -hmm. someone's like walking by, they're like wow like your butt looks great in those leggings. I'm like, thanks, girl. And it, it, it is so cool hearing it from a girl. Like, girl yeah. to girl uh, compliments are, like, the best. A guy will do it, I'm like, Ugh. Yeah, it's it automatically creepy. You're I'm like, like I don't want to see you naked. Please leave me alone. Well, like, people remember that. Yeah. Like, you yeah. can make somebody feel good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That could make somebody's day. It can make someone's day. It's like, I want my so. vibe to always be girl's bathroom. Yeah. <laughs> oh, girl's bathroom is the best. Oh, yeah. A night. Oh, I love it. It's the best. I'm like, at the Astros words. game. Have you seen um what? At the Astros. I was just thinking in the Astros game, I came out of the bathroom and I told Ryan, I was like, I don't even want to go back to the baseball game. Like that was such a good time. Oh, that yeah, was so, so fun. Fun. Yeah. <laughs> Girls in the bathroom when they've been drinking are so hype. I'm there like, was like, a video on TikTok and I loved it because it's like I was like, this is girlhood. And it's like a girl in the bathroom and she's like drunk and everyone's out. It's like at a club and she's like, should I get back together with my ex? And everyone's like, no, like, yeah. screw him. You're better than him. Like she's like in the bathroom stall and like yelling it. And I'm, I'm like, that is girlhood. Yep. Yeah, that's girlhood. That is girlhood. That's girl's girl. I love that. I loved it. It was, I was like, that is iconic. I love, I, I, I saw that. I loved it so much. Okay, one last question. Wait, wait, y'all got to say your three words. Oh. I want to know. I feel like mine go back. So when I was living with my dad, we had house rules and we had them hung in the garage. Like when you walk into the house and I, I want to say it was, I can't remember all of them. I think they're like five, but it was a McPhail house rules. And it was, um, always tell the truth was number one. It was a big one. My dad's the same way. He's like, I yeah. hate lying. Do not lie. So it was yeah. like, always tell the truth. Um, like be a good person, be a kind person. I can't remember what the other ones were, but those two, like I always run those through my head. Like always tell the truth, always be a good person. Um, I don't know. Those are good ones. Those are good. Yeah, I can't think of. It. You know, it's another one is boundaries. Yeah, boundaries. That's, yeah, that's I think a I want to. I feel like that should all be on our. I list always focus too. on that. Yeah. Um, mine would be kindness and compassion. That's like the number one thing for me. I always want to make sure that everyone I meet feels good at some point. Like I never want somebody to meet me and not feel like good about themselves. So I always try to make somebody feel like they're the only person in the room when they're with yeah. me. And then you make people feel really special. Thanks. I remember like there's been times where I'm like, damn, you really like bend over backwards, take your shirt off. Yeah. There was one time she was being like the bestest friend ever. And, all, and I was like, damn, I'm kind of an asshole. I feel like you're, I should be a better friend. No, yeah. you're such a good friend. Like you, you, no, but you, you like, show up for me. But you, yeah, but you, you, you were just like so. Because you deserve You go it. above and beyond. I think because you guys are all service. Mm -hmm. I know. But, but you, you were guys, just like the sweetest friend. And I was like, I love that. It's because really I, I tell you, like, and it's like, I, but I'm also, my other word is understanding. I'm understanding yeah. of everyone's situation, everyone's circumstances. So yes, what I'm telling you, like, might not agree with it. We've talked about this where I'm like, I understand. Or like, we've had the conversation where I'm like, you don't need to make a decision right now. I know other people are telling you to make yeah. decisions. I was like, you need to do what is best for you. Because at the end of the day, it's for you. It's who you are. And yeah. you're going to have to deal with your consequences. And like, you deal with what's going on around you. And that's what matters. I was like, so block out the noise. Block out what I'm saying. Love like, you got to be a sponge. Take what you want. Absorb as much as you can. Squeeze yourself out and keep what you want and let the rest go. Yeah. That's being a really, really good friend. Because I've... Yeah lost friendships because I didn't do what they wanted me yeah, to do. No. And I'm like, this doesn't yeah. affect, this is my life. Yeah. I'm like, see, girls can be controlling. Yeah. 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 And I'm just <laughs> like, I love you, but I'm not doing what you want me to do. But it's yeah. like, I, I always want people to know that I'm understanding of every circumstance. So it's like, if you don't want to do something or you don't feel like that's the best for you, then like, I get that. Yeah. But yeah. it's like understanding of everybody around you. Like people are going through things. People are going through hard times. Like things that you say to people, the way that you're intentional with people, the way that you treat people like has an action and like has like, 
like a consequence to it, like actions and consequences. Like yeah. the things that you can do can make somebody's day better. The things that you do can make somebody's day worse. And so like, I always want to make somebody's day better. So kind kindness and understanding are two big things for me. And then devotion, whether that be devotion to myself, devotion to God, devotion mm-hmm. to my relationship with Max or devotion to the things that I'm doing and putting out there. Mm-hmm. I want to put as much as myself and like goodness into that. If I'm going to put something out there. Love that. Beautiful. I thought of my third word. What's your third <gasps> word? What is it? Loyalty. Loyalty. That's, That's such a, a big one. one. It's such a big one for me. Right. Loyalty. I was big. like, we got way more than three. I was yeah. like, we're just gonna keep tackling. We should have. You should have like your own rules here. We have rule board. Rule board. Rule. Rule. Rule board in the room. Oh, no. Next time everybody comes in, you must have a rule, and you must follow our rules. Okay. Last yes. question. Yeah. You know this question. Oh. What's your favorite position, Heidi? I love this. CEO. <laughs> love that. And on that note, what do you have coming up? Anything cool? Anything you want to yeah. talk about? Anything we should get excited for? Ooh. Okay. Well, let's see. I would say with Grounds, obviously, it's a one-stop shop for women. We love it. Um, we have a pretty big launch. When does this go up? It's going up Sunday, but we... So that's next. So that's going to be... This Sunday? Yeah, this Sunday. So five days, six days? Oh. So Saturday, the no, like, yeah. Next Sunday. Five, this Sunday it's going you. up. So oh gosh, it's, I don't befo- even it's know. before the launch. It's before the launch. Okay, so we have a big launch for Grounds coming very soon. It's, it's in like a week or two, something like like mid-April. Um, pretty excited for that. We've been working really hard to, to make some of these things come to life. Um, and then with Buff Bunny Collection, we have a launch. Oh my God, do you know the date? Is it April 13th? It's, April. it's next Saturday. It's isn't April it? 13th. Yeah, next it's Saturday. A- yeah. <laughs> it's April 13th at 1 p.m. Central Standard yeah. Time. Yeah. And that was like a, I don't want to say Taylor Swift inspired, but the influencer, Catherine Mueller, that we did the collaboration with, um, she's a big Swifty fan. So you might see like little touches or like inspo of it, but obviously we're not using Taylor Swift. You're wearing it, aren't you? Isn't that the new? <gasps> I am. I'm obsessed. Yes. I really like these seamless leggings. Usually I like the ones with the, the waistband Band, on it yeah. where it has a little more contour. These are actually really comfortable. Yeah, I love yeah. I love your outfit. Everything was great. Love, there'll be a lot of content coming up. Don't worry, I'll post a lot. <laughs> Code Taylor for money off, you know? Code Taylor. <laughs> for some money off, why not? Save your coins. Save your coin. But no, the launch is amazing. Like every piece I've worn, I've been obsessed have with. You, have you tried the dress on? I didn't get the dress. You didn't get the dress? No. I'll send you the dress. I'll just come over and try it on. Yeah. We can do some content. Yeah. Bring Sydney up. I have zero what? content. No. Yeah, <laughs> we yeah, could yeah. Because you were our size too. Yeah. Perfect. Extra small. Okay. I might. Well, <laughs> I think I have some like extra small, smalls, extra, extra smalls and some. Yeah. Possibly some other sizes too. Obviously. Yeah. We can just play. We can play around. We can play just dress up. Yeah. 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 We style each other's outfits. Yeah. Taylor's That'd the best be really the styling. fun. We should just have like fun makeover things have you ever seen the tiktok i know we're getting off the topic here have you seen the tiktok of it's like whose outfit it really is and like it's like the people are together and it's like no it's like you and christian and like one's like my favorite is like when it's like jobs and it's like one's like a construction worker and one's like a lawyer or something crazy or something <laughs> else and like they like change outfits and like the guy's like in her like scrubs or something <gasps> and she's like in his construction oh that's good we should have like a couple's party and everyone dresses up like as their couple their, as their couple. partner i just wear joggers and a sour strip t-shirt I was like, what would I wear? I mean, I'd have to literally tattoo my whole body. Skinny jeans. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you can get those on Amazon. I've too. They're good. Cornrows, chains. You'd wear skinny jeans. and He's better now. He wears more cargos. No, he wears oversized everything, everything now. But he used to remember the skinny jeans and the long t-shirts. Wait, Max did that too, right? Or no? Nah, but he did wear skinny jeans, but not the long t-shirts. Joe did. Yeah. Yeah. I was like, I feel like I'd wear muscle tank. Maybe like a muscle stringer, suit yeah. underneath, you <laughs> just, know? Just alpha leak. Like get a little jacked over there. Just wear, the, you have to wear the big muscle suit. Like the yeah, big, the body big suit. muscle suit with like a little muscle tank over it. There you go. That'd be fun. I love that. We'll have a whole day. Yeah. Guys, thank you guys so much. Heidi, thank you for coming on. Thanks Seriously, for thank you for making this time. This is so fun. I know this is like two and a half hours, guys. We went a little overboard. I'm so sorry. I know it's crazy. But thank you guys for joining us. You know, follow us on Instagram. All of it will be linked down below. The dogs are coming in. Um, Hello. Make sure you, oh, God. Oh, oh God. God bless. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment. Leave a like. Go like us on Spotify and Apple. Um, give us four stars up or thumbs up or whatever it is. Um, ring the bell for notifications. I can't remember everything. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. We will see you guys next week. Bye. Bye. Talk nice to me, I'm in your head, I invest, that's a short-term fee, got it locked, I'm the best, well at least that's what I think, give me props when I rap, if you want, at least that's what I think, give me props.
props when I rap. Yeah. If you want, yeah. I'm